I've got this one life Just got this one life I'd like to think that it would go on forever But I've got just one try Yeah, I've got this one try I remember when we were kids You lost your parents, I heard the hymn I swore that day that I would love you forever If those were my last words If those were my last words I might never be a captain on a yellow submarine I might never be an actress on a giant silver screen But my heart will make a house standing anywhere you be And my love will hold the diamond shining far as you can see Put up with changes Come pick me up cause I just wanna see the light I wanna be weightless Teach me to fly, I won't be coming down Could somebody wake me up? I don't wanna be here and let the world pass me by yeah. I just see her face where I'm 
Everything we got, give it an honest shot, turning it on and off, we've been sliding, riding the highest dream, keeping the fire real, I call for you, hold your gun, cut the wire, aim for fun, with a light your fire, I've been flying up the ceiling, take it by this feeling, baby we're invisible, fueling 
Chateau, it's Saturday, and today is the Champions League final. It's the third time of asking. The previous two times, it's not gone well. We lost 3 0, we lost 3 2. Today, we face the same old enemy in Chelsea. Will today finally be the day that we put that one to rest? All that and a little bit more coming up today on Building a Nation with Treaty United. And we're dancing. I'll take it. I'll take this it. This Champions League final is brought to you by FBSOS. Let us face it. Where Miri catches up with this dream, top is what it will be. It, very true. You speak only in truth. Toffee Yogi, thank you so much for the nine months during the intro. Terja, thank you for the 500 bits. That's super kind. Bruce Luce, uh, ooh, Babakinston, and AFC Jack, thank you for the follows, my friends. Nine out hey, I'll take that. That's a good start. If we can play a nine out of five game. Nine out of five? Don't have a nine out of five game. Just don't do that. Jason! Thank you so much for the six months, my friend. That is very, very kind of you. Bloody hell. Oh, Ibe dear. Jungli said a goodbye to my father yesterday. Oh, Your shit. Your Thursday stream and Friday nomads really helped me make it through. Needing some good vibes in Tennessee. Bring on the uh, Jason, uh, that's horrible, my friend. Um, I'm so sorry that you're having to go through that at the moment. Um, hopefully, just being... A, just Hopefully, we can just be, if nothing else, a distraction for you today. And hopefully, it can be a positive distraction where we can uh, hopefully win something. But yeah, I'm genuinely very, very sorry to hear that, my friend. That's that's awful. Um, you know we're all here for you, seriously. Where's the save file? Uh, the save file, I actually do have a Wii transfer version of the save file that I put up for uh, Quinn. So if anyone else wants it, I can give it to them. It's the Celtic one, the presumed people, the one people are after, right? Um, I made a new version of it with like a retired manager so that you can take over at Celtic or whatever you need to do, basically, for that one. Oh, dear. Uh, we are third in the coefficient places at the moment. Luckily, it's... Well, this is the thing. It is tetchy as hell, my friends. In fact, before we do anything else, I'm going to start a prediction for us because we'll give it a nice long one so people have a chance to actually, you know, get predicting. Uh, so who wins the Champions League? Treaty Chelsea. I'll give you a nice 10-minute prediction. How about that? I'm a benevolent god. <laughs> you got time to get yourself with predictions in. So, yeah, what I was going to say... Yes, so basically, um, obviously there was the issues with the other sides in terms of um, Europe. So as things stand, we are still third, and we will remain third. But look how close France got to nicking third off of us with an 18-point season. France and Germany had the benefit of having sides outside of the groups, and it meant that they got to qualify. And because their teams are still OP, they picked up extra, lots of extra points, basically. It's a tough one. Hard news! Thank you so much for the seven months and young I'm tempted not to watch. I hate seeing Chelsea win. That implies Chelsea are going to win. How could you? How could you say that? Ragnar now with the 11 months. Oh, goodness me. Go on, Matthew. Speak that. 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 Speak just 100% truth. I have never heard someone speak Icelandic in a French accent. Will you play the UCL final before the Tottenham game? Uh, I'm playing the UCL final in a minute. Uh, couldn't get a shit about the Tottenham game. So, <laughs> this is the real game. <laughs> oh, French team in the other finals. Ah, no. So, this is the thing. Those finals have happened. That's why I was mentioning it. Because San Etienne did win the, f the uh, final of the Conference League over Dortmund, of all people. 
So, extra time. But yeah, Son Etienne won the Europa Conference League, which is weird. Because I feel like they've been nowhere in this save. I remember my last save, they were like a com complete... Uh, they had like a tycoon on my last save, so it was kind of mad. Fell now with the prime. Thank you for the three months, Fell. How's it going? Let me just grab... Uh, yeah, so... And also Liverpool beat Galatasaray in the Europa League final. So that helps out England. Yeah. Longest seven player of the team currently. So we've got a bit of time before the final, obviously, with the uh, prediction running and stuff like that. So we can go through things like the previous squads, which is what someone wanted to see. How would we even see longest serving player? Oh, I'm not sure where we even see that information. Chat, thoughts. Is there a way of seeing that? Is there like a joined club thing you can put in here or something? That'd be cool if you could. Contract start date? No, that'd be the original ones. That wouldn't be the original start date, would it? Sort by age? True. It's got to be Mihai Alaku or Thais Freeze, right? I would say. Alaku or Thais Freeze? Probably. Would be my guess. Thais Freeze has been here for 14 years. So 2032. Alaku. Oh, it's Mihai. Has to be Mihai. It could be Andy. I think it's Mihai. Would be my guess. Anyway. Oh, and Harold Bishop as well. Things you love to see. Why don't I type in Andy and expect him to come up? I've learned my lesson. Apparently not. Uh, yeah, I think it has to be... Sorts of the were Does he really? That's kind of a nice little underground feature that I didn't know about. Uh, let's just check Andy. He's in here somewhere. There he is. Andy was... Nope. Andy's not been here as long. So it is Alaku. Our longest serving player is Mihai Alaku. Which makes a lot of sense. He's been here now for 15 years. 34-year-old. Captain of the club. Yeah, joined in 2031. So that's just roughly pretty much dead on 15 years. And I don't think there's anyone that's been here longer than that because they wouldn't be old enough to be there that long unless they joined us at like 16 and we're now 31. And I don't think there's anyone. Yeah. But hey, Alaku, what a guy. Oh, Chelsea, what's the prediction looking like? I've got to, uh, can I see the prediction? I can. Oh my Lord, that's a lot of points. 300,000 points on Treaty. Who did it? Oh, no, I can't get rid of it. <laughs> Standard. Ooh. Alaku deserves, but particularly as I suspect he won't be with us much longer because his contract expires, well, not super soon, but I suspect he's going to probably force for a leave. Force for a leave? He's going to push for a move at some point, I suspect. You can't, you can only keep him out the side for so long. Uh, <laughs> oh, it's so true. Decom, thank you for the two months with the Prime. <laughs> I don't know what you mean. I see no connection between the two things. <laughs> I see nothing there at all. Uh, deep on treaty. Well, yeah. Can't see prediction. Uh, it is there. Uh, you might have to refresh the stream, perhaps? Or unless you're in a nation, maybe, where that doesn't have predictions. Certain countries and territories don't have predictions for whatever reason. But if you haven't noticed, the prediction is at the top. We don't do them very often, so we tend to get... We've got nearly a million channel points resting on this at the moment. <laughs> That's insane. Right, let me get rid of that for a minute. Oh, Oh, so you can vote without points. That's kind of... At least that's kind of a way around it, I suppose, isn't it? Right, we were promised the Harrow Bishop Ultras. That will get us nice and pumped for today, my friend. So you know what to do. If you don't know what to do, you pick it up quite quickly. Yeah, so you can actually go view all and it will show you more stuff because of the hype train being in the way, I think. That might only be on my end, but I think you can hit view all and it shows other activities that are going on. Right, so... And a five. And a four. And a three. And a two. And a one. And a lesser spotted early days Harold Bishop Ultra. Go! The minute you get up tight, you're dead. <laughs> I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. It's true. And we hope not to get up tight today. If you can't see it, I think apparently if you click on the channel points button down at the bottom of the screen, that might bring it up as well. We've literally got over a million channel points. <laughs> <laughs> resting on one game here, and it's kind of 50-50. Treaty just ever so slightly edging it, which does mean, by the way, that no matter what happens, someone is going to win an insane amount of points because it's actually quite balanced, which means you're going to get, like, a decent chance. So, yes, former lineups from the previous two Champions League finals against Chelsea. Mestra, thank you for the follow. Oh, right. Let's have a little gander. So, our two pre- Well, it will be our, literally our last two meetings against them, won't it? Oh, no. Tell a lie. We have played them before. So, yes. These two here with our two previous Champions League farms against Chelsea. We should be able to see the lineups. So, this was the first one. The one we got absolutely battered in. Lost 3-0. You can see that the lineup actually isn't all that different. 
Like, obviously, Saluban Mihov was the goalkeeper. That's now changed because we've got Swanetsky in goal. Someone put 150k on Chelsea. That's honestly probably not a, probably a pretty smart move. You don't get them for the VODs. It's a shame. It's the one thing about it. I suppose, do you get them for watching them on Twitch or not? Or I know you can't get them for YouTube, obviously. Pablo Rodriguez started at right back for us in that game. Spack and Mate had a good game. Vitor Oliveira was our left back in the first Champions League final. That was the guy we had on loan from Liverpool, who was pretty much bad all season. But we were desperate. Thais Freeze, though. Featured on our first Champions League final against Chelsea, albeit eight years ago, still in the team. The donut obviously was in there too. Solis now plays for, no, he did play for Chelsea, now he's at Real Madrid. Manea, that was one of his earliest appearances. He must have been about 18 during this Champions League final. We also had on the bench, John Joao Diaz, who's of course gone. Vinicius, who's now at Milan. Elbato, who's the city keeper. Karp's now at Dinamo Zag, no, Dinamo Kiev. Vostarek, of course, is now at Porto. Halcroft's retired. Milosevic is at Dundalk. Limburg's still here. Emmett, the hero of our time bit of a reference there for Eurovision fans. Obviously, as our head of youth development, Stoyanovic is gone. Rengifo, Novakovic, Danko, and Espen Falkenhorst was our sort of lineup in the bench for our first Champions League final where we got, well, <clears throat> routinely smacked, honestly. We were not very good in that game. We weren't prepared. We kind of lucked our way there. <clears throat> it wasn't a particularly strong lineup. We just weren't ready for that Champions League final. The OP revenge tactic. I don't know if we can or not. Was that the last time we played them? It was. The last time we played Chelsea was three years ago in a Champions League final. <clears throat> so yes, we might actually be able to say revenge, which we didn't get to say last time because we'd won against them in the previous match. So you never know. And last Champions League final was, of course, three years ago. So it's five years in between these two. And then it was this one, the closest we've come so far. Mopey goal, Twitch. Thank you for the follow. <clears throat> I'm excellent, Ryan. How are you, my friend? We're just warming up, ready for a Champions League final. This one, weirdly... The game was closer, but statistically, we were a bit better, but so were they. So it was a tough one. They're still playing a 4-4-2 this whole time. Alice coming in with a huge raid. My friend, how is things over in Wunderland? Let me grab you a shout out and actually try and do it correctly. Let me not shout out Stringer or... What was that I did last time? Oh, that was what, why Kakum was my last particularly brilliant effort to shout someone out. Weezer with the 15 months. It's a good one to catch. It really is. He finally got a stream live for the first time in months. Good one to catch. Oh, it, it is indeed. So what I would say is Panathakos 11 nil, Treating them like the cabin tea leaf. Apparently the highest amount was um 150k someone put down. <clears throat> Did we play it? Play what? Um, so Lumen Mihov was in goal again. Then Lukacic was, obviously, we, this is after we moved to the back three now. So we had Lukacic, Spak, and Navio, who will be in the lineup today. Sal was on the bench in this game, oddly. <laughs> who played it? Oh, no, he came off. He was substituted. Sal will be starting today. The final. No, no. We're, we're going to play the final in a minute. <clears throat> we're just looking at our previous finals against Chelsea. Because every time we've been in a Champions League final, Stalin, we've played against Chelsea. Today is no different. So Sal is going to play because Boggy's got an injury and he's not going to be eligible for today. The actions at left side. Threes, of course, will be in the middle. This is Thais Threes' third Champions League final with this team. Same with Limburg and Manea. Valev will play today as well. Araujo, of course, is gone now. Mikulic, I thought he was going to be the guy, but he, he's not, is he? It's all about Swanetsky. Alaku, of course, in their games. Pedersen was on the bench for that game. Boggy, of course. Radojic, who will feature probably today. Bilbio might as well. Jovatic, yeah. There's a lot of players that have still gone, but Neslo was on the bench for that one. Today, he will start. Chelsea, on the other hand... <coughs> I mean, they're just, they're just very good. King Shady, thank you for the three Point months. exclamation skin. <laughs> Weirdly, Shady, that doesn't work as a sub message. It doesn't actually trigger the night, but you'll have to do it again. Incredible scenes. Falford, thank you very much for the five months, my friend. All the resubs today. Things you love to see. Comment treaty UTD. You, <laughs> treaty UTD, I love it. 15k, but think how much closer you could be if you bet on the right answer. In-game odds looking like, where do we see that, Marco? Can we see in-game odds for the Champions League final itself? If so, do let me know and I'll happily show you. But in the meantime, I'm just going to quickly show you what we're going to be looking at lineup-wise for today. If you can figure that out, though, let me know. Um, so obviously it wants to put Swanetsky out, but for me, this is what we're going with today. Unfortunately, with Bogdanov getting that injury, it means that he is not fit. In fact, not even fit enough to be on the bench, which is a real shame. In schedule, uh, match preview email. Should be inbox. Okay, cool. Let's have a look. Whereabouts? Is it like the treaty? Oh, this one here. Oh. That one? That one. 13 to 8. 6 to 4 Chelsea. So as always, they are the favourite. Which is not really a huge surprise. Get some milk. Oh my goodness. Milk? What is this? The unpreparedness is incredible. Mm. Injured out for two months. Ah. Well, that's 
that's not that's not good you don't want that oh no problem quinn how's it going with the save i don't know i can't imagine you've done much since literally yesterday night when i gave you the save but still so yeah 13 to 8 for us I the problem is we don't know what we were like last time. It's not bad. We're a lot closer to them than we were before. Our form is pretty solid. Theirs is pretty good as well. Yeah, I, I normally have decimal odds when I... Weird that I didn't do that, actually. I, don't, I usually, when I'm doing betting, I usually use decimal odds. But for some reason in FM, I just leave it as fractional for some reason. I like decimal odds way better. It's just easier to read in my tiny little brain. So I think this is our lineup today. Swanetsky, the hero of the semifinals. And of the quarterfinals, honestly. That, those saves against City and then the penalty saves against Barcelona were diamonds. So he deserves his start. Oh, what shirt did I order? Right, sorry, I forgot to catch you up on that. So I bought the Rocha one, which we already knew. And I went for the Palm Beach Breakers shirt. Um, they're both coming on Monday. So hopefully I'll be able to wear one of them on stream on Tuesday. So that's the plan anyway. Oh, dear. Yeah, so basically the UK odds, it's... I was going to try and explain it, but I, I honestly just can't. Hello, Pog. You're right. What's up? Hmm? What? Milk. Okay, that's fine. I can't help you with that, unfortunately. Oh, dear. Right. Yeah, I couldn't even begin to explain them because I just don't understand them, honestly. <laughs> like, I understand them enough to know what's what, but not to explain to someone else, I suppose. It's like, yeah. So, that's what we're going with. Navio, Lukacic, Neslo, Sau at right back because we don't have Boggy, Niaksu at left back, Trubovic buys freeze with his third Champions League final, Manea, of course, in his second, Valov in his second, Christie for his first Champions League final. The bench is pretty much everyone we can field. Other than like the likes of Giorgio and Jose Lara. So we'll have Mukulic if we need him. Radojic, Lindy, Bilbia, Saki's there if we need him. Miggy, Sitkovsky, because we'll never need him, but he's there. Alaku, of course, the captain. Be lovely to see him lift the trophy. Um, Trotter, of course, man who missed all those fucking chances late on in that game. And Tiago Milan. And of course, Felipe Emmanuel. Third time, hopefully, will be the charm. I mean, I don't know what we can do. Other than going here, I've had a little look already at Chelsea's lineup and taking a couple of little punts on certain players to target. We'll obviously change that. Notice how this, look, they're playing Victor Bermanets as a right midfielder, which is an interesting choice. Now, honestly, he's not bad there, but is he like an inverted winger playing advanced? Like, it's, I don't know what they're going to use him at role-wise, is my point. He's a much better striker than he is a winger, for my liking, but he's quick, he's got okay crossing, but he's got no right foot, and he's got one tackling. Which means that for me, yes, he's got no right foot. he literally has basically no right foot in that position. I think he could be the weak link here, which is why I'm going to target him straight off the bat. Because I think Niaxu might have a lot of time running down that. Plus, remember, on that side, that means Christie's going to get into that channel as well. And he's not going to track back and try and cover him. So it's going to be a lot of pressure on Laskowski, who, as far as I know, is a centre back. Uh, Chelsea, are you OK? So they're playing... Their centre back, Laskovsky, as a right back, and it's a 36 year old with very little pace. He's got decent aerial presence, but I think we could get a lot down that left hand side. Like, it feels like that's a real good. Um, our left hand side is going to be quite potent today, I would say, with Christensen and Niaxu. That's good to know, actually. He's a good right back, but he's a centre back, really. Like, he's not really a right back. I mean, yeah. He has no dribbling ability. Now, maybe they want to not use him like that, but I'm sure they'd rather be playing him in the middle, right? Surely? Uh, the left back was already on dribble more. We actually have a... um. Well, the tactic is low dribble. Our left back has run with ball more often. Um, as a PPM, we meant, we deliberately gave it to him so that we could get in these situations. So yeah, Vulcan obviously is their striker. We already know about Alejandro Vulcan. He's been one of the best strikers in the save for about the last... Focus on the left? Nah, not from the start. We have a tactic. We're sticking to it. I'm not going to make... I'm not going to get backseat into making changes before the match has even started. <laughs> yes, Pog. Okay. Good luck, oh, dear. Who I thought was Polish only to find out that he's pure English and couldn't play. Ah. <laughs> so, yeah, Vulcan. Ridiculous striker. Still only... Still 35. Any individual instructions? Oh, uh, we have a couple, but it's mostly like shoot less often and stuff like that. And obviously, they've got Bram Van Dam, who... He's also rather good. Not as quick, but he's got a bit of height. I mean, Chelsea strikers are just absurd, aren't they? Th we know that's going to be the case. Mm. So that's not too bad. What else have they got in this team? They've got... Their back line is Fontaine, who's 6 for 4 great jumping reach. He's just an excellent centre-back, isn't he? Just only four caps for France is kind of scary, honestly. And he's alongside Yusuf Diop, a Senegalese centre-back, who, again, he's just brilliant. And he's got a bit of... Look at him. He's filthy. Where did they get... Oh, he's come from Diambar's. 70 grand. Porto absolutely smacking that one out of the park. So that... And the left-hand side, they've got Tokaj, who is a much more full-backy type player. Which means, honestly, 
having him up against Sal might actually be a good thing. Because against Bogdanov, I think he would Bogdanov would struggle against this guy, but Sal is more defensively minded. So having a more attacking left side and a more defensive right side, just in pure players, would actually maybe come to our favour today. So maybe it's a good thing Boggy's injured. Chelsea's a, he's a very old team. They've also got um, Gavrila, who is a guy from Universitea, who's just a ridiculous central midfield. I mean, no real surprise there. He's been there for 50. They've got kind of old side, haven't they? They've got Antoine Peters, the guy from Ghent that I found a few years ago. He's ridiculous as well. They've got a lot of like 30 plus guys, like upwards of 35, 36 as well. He would struggle against Boggy too. Yeah, but I feel like Sal might be able to shut him down. And I think he's going to be dangerous, but I want to see... I'm going to... We'll give it time. We'll see how it goes with that. And who else is there? The last player that we haven't looked at is this guy. Uh, Nicholas Rosa Arson. Which is just... <laughs> I'm just going to call him Nicholas Red Arse. <laughs> oh, Romania are insane in this save. So many good Romanian players. We found loads of them ourselves. Um, in fact, three or four of them in our squad are Romanian. I don't know if you noticed that. Like, um... Our squad alone. Niaxu is a Romanian. Wunderkin. 55 caps already. Uh, Manea is another one. He's ridiculous. Uh, our captain who's on the bench is also Romanian. Uh, why am I no type working the strike and crossing the other? Uh, again, because I am. There's your answer. Because we are. Um, because Vulcan is way more dangerous than Bram Van Dam. <laughs> Basically, he's just so much more dangerous than Bram Van Dam. Yeah, this is the really good striker from Bayern. Uh, they're playing him as a right winger on his wrong foot. So that's going to be fun. <laughs> I think that's the key. That left-hand side with the actual is going to be absolutely poggy for us, but we'll have to see. <laughs> more dangerous than Bram Bram Bram. Oh, he's way more dangerous than Bram Bram Bram. Bulgaria and Romania have been insane. Right, let's just do this now. That's enough preamble. We're all here. We've got an insane prediction up. Let's get cracking. Just FM Gods, if you ever loved me, do something today. Show me that quality. We're better than we were last time as well. Like, we've had three years to get ourselves into this position. The squad is better. The players are better. I think tactically we're slightly better as well. We're just going to do our thing. Go out there. Do our job. I don't did we have the revenge thing there? We might not have done If we did, I've just missed it. But we should be okay on that. Really, what it comes down to is... Is that an empty part of the stand? Or is it just because my graphics back? <laughs> Got my show off. I'm ready. Come on. Chat, give me some treaties in the chat. Let's start things off right. They're playing that same 4-4-2, and it's the same manager, so we expect the same style of play from them. But 4-4-2s, we're usually okay against. Oh. Spam the trap with treaties. That's what I want to see. So you can browse Stoke. <laughs> Here we go. Niaxu's already in down the left-hand side inside 10 seconds. This is what I want to see through the rest of this half. I want to see Niaxu there, Sal being slightly more withdrawn, and just keeping a counter on that guy. Oh, you love to see it, friends. That's more like it. Look at... Look, see? See what I mean? Already. That guy is just... He's not tracking back. And Niaxu is going to have a field day today, I suspect. Oh, ball in all the way. Manea clears it. But Sal is again slightly more withdrawn. This is... Oh, my God. Careful. I'm liking what I'm seeing in the opening minute of already just the way we've set up here. This is good news. I'm liking this. This is the year. I can feel it. Christensen drops it short for Valid. Out around for Sal. Wow, we are on it in the first 10... Well, first minutes. Uh, before I do anything else, chat, one thing you are going to need to remind me to do today, other than normal, is shouts. Normally, I'm fine with shouts, but obviously with the long matches, I completely forget to do shouts. So I've done the first one. We want to be looking around about 12 minutes for the next one. <sighs> Just a couple of corners on the head of Valiv. Oh my God, look at the mismatch. They've got Rosa Arsene marking Stefan Valiv. Obviously, they've got a guy on the near post, but if Valiv gets a run on this guy, uh, how tall is he? Five foot two. He is five foot two against the six foot five of Stefan Valev. If we get some set pieces in this game, that could be quite fruitful for us, I suspect, already. I'm liking a lot of the things I'm seeing, just the way we've set up at the moment. Vulcan flying down the left-hand side. Big tackle from Neslo. We need a shit house performance from someone like Spac. Like what Spac did a few years ago. And Mate, when they were absolutely brilliant in that final, even though we lost, they were just running the show Vulcan's ball in. Really good patience. I was five foot two when I was like 10. Maybe he's like 10. Maybe I'm running him too short there <laughs> like he is oh shout up in the back of the <laughs> that'll remind me that is very true okay oh, still quite a young side we've still got a lot of young players in this team sal giving it a good go down this right and it's a big tackle on him that's fine the one thing we've always had problems with in champions league finals is just creating enough sort of fugle with the 11 months what a time to be here thank you so much my friend Oh, there was nothing. I'm going to watch the whole match. Uh, yes, 
Well, I mean, we could drop out at half time, but I feel like we want to see the full game. It'd be a bit weird otherwise. Unless we'd like to fall it up. He actually down the left hand side. Again, firing himself into space. And he's got Freeze covering across for him. Ball in. Valve's header. Oh, okay. That side is going to be so damn key for us in this game. But I want to leave it for now before we focus down there. Because I often find with FN, if you try to force something too much, it seems to just stop working, I've noticed. Oh, and again, the pressure. We'll look at... My basic plan is we get to like half an hour before we even want to get close to considering any changes. Oh, of course I will, actually. Yeah. Crossing to the far post. Uh, don't know. Is he? Um, I mean, if he is, I think he's just crossing, or is he? No. He's just crossing. Particularly as it's low crossing. I'd rather him just, like, cross where he wants to cross. <laughs> is the anti mat <laughs> No more loans. Oh, yeah, who took over in that save? Was it that, um, Tonga guy? It is on full match. Of course it is. We always do finals on full game. Niaxu. Yeah, he's just gonna have a field day, cutting back inside constantly there, and finding Freezy. If Freezy can just get some good crosses in, Oh, so we can win a corner there. Rather, let's find them nice and early. Hey, tell that to the players. Tell them to get out there and get us a nice cheeky Champions League win, and then we'll talk. Oh, dear. Now, we've got change. The change is already planned out. Kit Basher. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah, it, it's so cool, isn't it, the Kit Basher? Like. The video is nothing, but the uh, who's Chelsea manager is Julian Stefan, uh, the former Strasbourg coach. Is He's actually been Chelsea manager for like a good while now. So much so that we've built up a rivalry with them. Well, not a proper rivalry. That would be silly, wouldn't it, in FM? It's, only like, it's not like we've only played them three times in Champions League finals. It'd be silly if we had a rivalry or something. But we haven't seen much from Chelsea so far in the first five minutes at all here. But this could be a chance well cut out again by Neslo. We look so composed on the ball. I'm loving it. Threes is already getting a good rating, and he often struggles in these types of games. Salaf, what a Saturday morning. Indeed, what a time to be alive. Laskovsky and Niaxu straight in on him. I think Laskovsky is going to struggle. If he crosses, he'll be fine. But if he's told to do anything other than cross the ball loads, he's not going to be able to get past Niaxu because he doesn't have any dribbling ability. Or oh, Vulcan. It's going to be a long way strike from Peters, I suspect. Nope, that's fine. Keeps it moving. Well, weirdly, the rep thing, we've actually got, a, we've gained a bit more rep. Uh, we're up to four and a half star rep now just from getting to the final. Oh, the catharsis if we win. It would be incredible, particularly if it would be against Chelsea. But there's no way it actually fixes it. Just, it just isn't going to happen, is it? <laughs> Let's be honest. Oh, he's going to have to... Careful, Gilberto. Okay, that's fine. I was worried he was going to just lump that to nobody. But again, Manea into space. Thought, oh, nice pick out. Really nice pick out. We need a runner, though. We haven't found him so far. I'm excellent, Tortifuco. How are you? Trubovic getting in behind, not quite. But again, Chelsea... I was going to say forced long. But actually, they've done really well there, annoyingly. He's gone down a blind alley, and that's nice. Okay. So far, first seven minutes of this game... We're actually doing okay. Christensen's got a bit of... Oh, 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 that's a yellow. That's a dead set yellow. And it is a yellow. Yusuf Diop in a yellow, on a yellow after just seven minutes. That's brilliant. That is such good news to see that one of their centre-backs already on a yellow after seven minutes. Because Christensen is clearly stretching them already. Great news. Who is the ref? Good question. It is... Of course. The ref is Mr. Unclickable. Let's be honest, it's probably that ref we don't like, Paolo Valeri. It's always him. Well, particularly as the FFP hole randomly got deeper for no reason. It's now 19 million, which is mad. So hopefully winning, or even just being here, is going to get... We get 13 million for playing in this game, plus you'll get coefficient money and other stuff on top of that too. So it should be okay, but we will see. I'd say so far, we've been the more threatening of the two... So oh, he should have won the ball there. It's Anthony Taylor. How old would he be in this game by now, right? Okay, that's a, an interesting ball. Want to do a draft today? I'm a little bit busy at the moment. Vulcan with the ball through. Great save from Swanetsky. First big chance. Is there no, like, regen refs for the future? The final is being played, I believe, in the Stade de France. If I recall. Later. Uh, again, like, um... I, yeah. Got stuff to do. Uh, so... Get for a win. You barely get anything. If I recall, winning the Champions League is the equivalent of getting an extra draw. Oh, wow. Big tackle there. It's forever live. I mean, hey, turns out the secret to eternal mortality was to become a ref, a ref in the FM universe. Imagine. <laughs> oh. Rocking the bus driver. Look, hell yeah. Hop aboard, friends. We're off. I'm going to take you on a journey. Ooh. Christensen into space again. Diop's got to be careful now as well. Freeze. Right. Is the return run on? Manea. 
Trubovich slips it through. Oh, oh, Sal's out wide. Use him. Yes, here we go. And base Sal, tons of room. Has to find the right pass. He's done nothing with it. That's terrible. Ref <laughs> well, you just get to manage the referees. You get to, is it PGMOL or something? You get to be in charge of that. He took too long. Yeah, he just had to slip that ball across to someone. Particularly oh, Neslo has been amazing so far. He's just getting tackles in. Nice to see. Anyone struggling? Nope. Nobody's dropped rating, which is good. Which is surprising, because normally by now we'd already be seeing drops. Arson down the left-hand side. We need a big tackle on him or just shepherd him. There we go. Oh, actually. No. Okay, he's gone back. That's fine. Shout. Uh, I think it's slightly too early for shout. Oh, no, it's not. Thank you. It's hard to tell. Sometimes it's 10 minutes, and sometimes it's just slightly over 10 minutes for whatever reason. Freeze into space. Christensen in the... Oh, that's on. That ball is going to be on. It makes me think that through the middle actually might be the right idea, but we'll wait until like 30 minutes, have a little look at how everything's planning out, then decide what we want to do. <laughs> have a hangover. I'll have a hangover if we win this. <gasps> that is dangerous. That right there is dangerous, but Valev's knocked it down again. That height up front is so key. Manea again into Christensen. Now that's more like it. I reckon that Diop guy gets sent off or is unable to make a challenge because of the, re the yellow card. The that's my hope anyway. Cal's donk. Thank you for the follow. Hello, Daddy. Oh, facing the game should be ref. That'd be kind of cool, actually. I want Millie to be a ref. And then I can get angry at him in real life when he sends off one of my players. Seems like a plan, right? Despite us looking better so far, Chelsea have probably still had the best chance. And it might just be that it was so early. That, oh, here we go. Space for the action. Cross it in, buddy. Yeah. Uh, okay, it's a set piece. It's a set piece. We're fine. Be careful on the breath from the corner. I mean, it's not my... I don't have a decision in that one. They're probably going to just run to Ravich. Valev cleared away. We're going to be so dangerous from those. Oh, here we go. Trubovic into space. Oh, please do something. Okay, somebody shoot. Oh, what a goal! It's straighty one. Chelsea nil. Octavian Manea has just put one where the fucking scissors live. Treaty one. Chelsea nil. Oh, he's got a redemption arc on him. He scored in the last final in the 3-2 defeat at just 18 years old. And today, he comes up with an absolute worldy. Oh, come on. Treaty one, Chelsea nil, and we have the fucking lead. That's more like it. It's the first time we've ever been ahead in a Champions League final. Why is the goalkeeper doing a little jig there? You okay, buddy? Do I need to call someone? In before losing 4-1. Indeed. That was a lovely goal. Sometimes you just need a little bit of that. Mane and that's going to be great because no matter what now, he's going to just have that confidence for the rest of the game. And that's okay. That's unnecessary, Valev, but still. He's doing the stanky leg. Why no suit? Because it's a thousand degrees. And besides, I've got a tie on. Got a tie in a Hawaiian shirt combo. You saw it live. Damn right. Okay. Good. Plus, we're still gaining data about what I want to do. I still think the through the middle stuff would probably work for us. But we'll see. Plus, it'll also free up the... We can't shout now because it's 1-0. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Tie is firmly on my... Well, firmly. As firm as a tie can be. <laughs> the Hawaiian. Love it. Good clearance. Uh-oh. Right. Get out there. Yes. That's nice. Just cover it off. Chelsea are going to have a bit of head of steam for a bit, I suspect. Oh, Christ. That guy's... Oh, he's offside. Nice. It's treaty colored. It might have Fulham badges on it, but we'll ignore the Fulham badges and focus purely on the treaty-related stuff. I am going to get, like, a treaty Hawaiian shirt or an Emmett Doran one. I don't know if anyone's ever ordered one of those custom Hawaiian shirts. Are they of any good quality? I imagine not. To a bully or a strangler. <laughs> well, I don't want to get peanuted, do I? Oh, they've actually allowed him to win the ball there. That's concerning. I reckon... Chelsea are going to be quite good for the next 10-15 minutes, so we've got to make sure that we just stand strong, and more and more tackles coming in from the likes of Niaxu is excellent news. Everybody looks solid. If not spect- Nothing spectacular so far, other than, obviously, the goal. That was very spectacular. Joel Linton with Doran's face. <laughs> yeah, peanutted. It's classic school life memories. Come on, win that. That's fine. Keeper, keeper, keeper! <gasps> he probably should have come for that, but luckily, we got away with that. Okay, there we go. Patience. Swanetsky is a little bit worrying but you know he's a young goalkeeper that i've thrown in here not as our first choice there's a lot of pressure on the young man today uh, no there's no way this game finishes one nil there is no way this is a, a game in fm we don't win matches one nil lovely interception from neslo though valif could look up and find the pass oh christensen's miles offside he made the run too early there but again we look good on the counter i'm excited about this this is looking stable for us so far we're making good defensive actions a lot of the time Neslo is reading everything as well. That man is like a library. He's ridiculous. Laskovsky again, trying to dribble, but I think the action should just keep him in his pocket. Very central position. Yeah. I wonder what, can we see what role he's playing? 
Uh, hang on, let me just switch to only commentary for a second. Oh, good. Wide playmaker. Interesting. So they're playing him as a wide playmaker, it would seem. With a Mez and DLF there. So that means that Vulcan's going to be dropping forward with Van Dijk. Actually, that, if anything, makes it more sensible for us to mark up Vulcan. So if we can cut him out, then it won't matter what they do with Van Damme. Um, Their left back is struggling massively already. Does the library read anything? It does in my world, all right? <laughs> <clears throat> They've had one shot so far. Possession's looking quite good for them, annoyingly. Okay. So what I might do, actually, are we already going after Permanets? I think I am, aren't I? Yeah, I don't want to do much more than that. I don't want to tight mark him, really. Because uh, the moment you start tight marking too much, I find that you start getting the people are being dragged out of position crap. And at the moment, I'm quite happy with what we're doing. Christensen in great space again. That's a poor pass. The actual... Oh, it's bad again. There was a chance there. Uh, that'd be full of Malik. It always feels like Champions League finals have... Very, pff, that's a, a brilliant pass there from Valve. <laughs> Absolutely top draw. You did. The minute... You, it's true. You can't do it. Shout. Uh, we can't. We One we shouted 10 minutes ago, two were a goal up. There's no shout that's going to do everything, anything other than demoralize players at this point, sadly. Wish it were true, but that's just how it is. Valev's just sort of knocking the ball around. <laughs> He's doing things. He saw a pass. It's not his fault that Sal didn't make the run or something. <laughs> Neslo is having a great game so far, though, which is really awesome. Do you remember the Premier League? Uh, he's actually done really well. He's been one of our better players in the first few games. So to be fair to it, oh God, Antoine Peters is in. Big tackle. Really big tackle. Uh, of course you can, Alec. I mean, it's open to everyone. So yeah. <laughs> Great. No, for some reason, no, it is available because we scored a goal, but I, there's no shout I can do that is going to do anything other than make the players unhappy because we're a goal up in a match. And that'd be silly if I should. If, imagine being able to praise the players at 1-0. <laughs> <So, laughs> that'd be lovely, wouldn't it? <laughs> Subs pre-planned. Not really. We've got, like, ideas of what I want to do because players will get tired. People will have poor games. Calm down. I have tried that before and it just seems to get the demotivation. I'm not going to do anything that I wouldn't normally do because why risk it at this point? Freeze does brilliantly there, though. Christensen with a bit of space. He's one-on-one -on -one with Diop. Diop can't tackle him. Here we go. Want to be a big tackle scene. Christensen crowd security. <laughs> no, uh, me too, Lambert. Me too. But hopefully... Oh, hang on. Christensen's inside here. Ball in Valev. Oh, wow. That was good defending from Fontaine. I'm surprised Valev didn't win that. When winning. Uh, for me, praise doesn't work when winning. I, I, unless I'm 2-0 up, then I don't praise T. Oh, sorry. Two goals up and it's fine. If I'm one goal up, it just doesn't work for me. Oh, Van Damme's down. Brown Van Damme has gone down injured. Chelsea have an injury 20 minutes into the game. Oh. Ha <laughs> ha. Sorry, sir. I, I'm sure you're a lovely bloke, but you're playing for Chelsea at the moment. Don't let him take the corner. Okay, so they're under 10 men temporarily here. You just hate to see it. Why am I being called by my... <laughs> I was just getting a video call from my group chat. I think Twasik pressed the wrong button. He's going to go, for sure. It's definitely... Yeah, they'll probably score. Are they going to ever... It's a shame I can't, like, right-click and, like, scroll this across or something. I'll tell you what, I'm enjoying just watching this guy. Why is he phoning? Dude, why is he phoning us? I've nearly done that a few times. Rob Van Dam is down. <laughs> Man's about to frog splash someone. Yes, yeah, Champions League final. Oh. oh, yeah, we'll find out what they do. But I think he's back on. No. It's Del Mastro. Uh, wait. Oh, he's there. Emanuele Del Mastro. That's their striker with nine finishing. Surely, okay, he is quick and he has okay composure, but he can't finish. I'll be curious to see what kind of role they play him in. Uh, let's just... What did I have on Van Damme? So we just had show onto weaker foot, which will just put him straight on off the bat and then we'll adjust on the fly. We'll see what they do. Oh, thank you, Graham. Ball in. Right, we'll have a look once we get out of the um, not the highlight, but once the ball's gone out of play for another time, we'll have a little look and see if they've changed anything. Christensen all oh, blocked off well there by Leskovsky. Yeah, the low finishing uh, watch it be not mattering <laughs> as the standard. Oh, yeah. Viking got invited to a barbecue and then it turned out he's the one that has to do the barbecue. <laughs> he's been invited as the chef. <laughs> yeah, I suspect they might do that. Uh, yeah, he was complete forward. So we'll see. 
Oh, hang on. Peters is through from midfield. Big tackle required. What a block that was. Right, okay. Now we can have a little look. Once this plays... Right, there we go. I just wanted to wait, wait for it to, like, not glitch, but, like, cut. Because I feel like that then updates the changes. At the moment, currently, it's still Del Mastro as a complete forward. They have made no tactical switches to compensate for that. Now, that might change in the next few minutes, but we'll see. If they keep him like that, and he's now taking the corners as well. Good clearance. In fact, now a breakaway for us. Manea on the ball. We've got th three on three for a second. In fact, right, right pass is needed. Valev's not got the speed for that. Oh. Hey, if Chelsea keep doing that, that's fine by me. Watch him score like a hat trick now <laughs> with his nine finishing. Neslo. He'll be like Maget Traore. I mean, that's going to help us. I feel like he's... No matter what happens here, I feel like he's less dangerous on the pitch than Bram Van Dam would have been. And that can only be a positive. Th oh, that's a shocker. Takaz has just come through and decided to murder Mbay Sao. How is that not a yellow? But fine. Neslo. Chelsea putting some dirty fouls in today. It's usually our job to do that and get away with it. <laughs> it's their turn, apparently. Okay. So far... I mean, it's a dead ass game. It's, it's, it's a terrible match. But at the moment, it. Oh, that's. A, right, surely that has to be a yellow this time. Nah, maybe not, actually. He's not really done much. He's just kind of kicked out at him. It, it looks worse. I think the Takar's one probably could have been a yellow, but that one was a bit soft. Hello, Thighs Freeze. He's through on goal. Hit, oh, what a stop from Larson. You see what I mean about that middle channel? We are finding gaps there, and I think around about 30 minutes, I might try to uh, target that a little bit more. They've changed their setup a bit here, they've changed the markers. Oh, that was a good opportunity. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Not like this. Right, come on. That's it. Control. Well played. Del Mastro just didn't make the run. He just didn't go for it. Maybe he just doesn't have the right PPMs for that role. Well cut out, though. But he does have speed. It's the one thing to watch out for. Is he is Then again, Bram Van Dam. I think Bram Van Dam was actually faster than him. So I don't think that's really a big issue. I think it's his lack of finishing that's going to, if anything, help us rather than them. Come on, get on that. Yes, Pet. Look at that. Defending from the front, Petter Christensen. Oh, dear. Chelsea are getting a bit more feisty with us now. Right, tackle. Come on. I think Spurs should win, but it's the Premier League, mate. Anything can happen. Takers is ball in. Cleared away. And Fires Freeze is in a perfect position to receive that. We've definitely got a bit of counter-attack ability here. Manea slips it through. I think Christensen might be offside here. No, he's not. Right, Sal, please do something better than that previous cross. Nice. Valev picks up. Oh. I thought Val have had that, but again, the pressure remains. It feels like they've had get stuck in on the whole game, honestly. Oh, big tackle from Gavrila. Okay. This feels way more balanced than the two previous finals against Chelsea. We've been way more in this game than we were the other two. Manea, has he got another magical goal up his sleeve? He might, you know. Oh, I thought he should have shot there, honestly. I swear to God, I thought he was going to pull another banger out. He's finding little pockets on the edge of the area for those kind of shots. Freeze. Over the top from base out. Right, quick cross. Ball in. Ah, that's a poor one. Valev. Oh! Oh, that was a shady one. I think he must have just stuck a leg through there and got a touch on the ball. Because Valev went down like a sack of potatoes there. Sal trying to win something here. Oh, a little bit of space now. Valev flicks it down. Trubovic is on it again, though. Ball in again. Cleared again. Wow, we're putting a lot of pressure on Chelsea right now. Oh. How many fouls have Chelsea committed so far, actually? What's the value? What's that looking like? Look at that from us. No fouls in the first 30 minutes of the game. That's very unlike us, to be fair. We're looking dangerous. We're putting pressure on them. Sal's in there. Oh! It's not in the box or anything, but this is a dangerous position for Stefan Valev to get on the end of something from Thais Freeze. Freeze his ball. Diop, the, the yellow carded defender. That was a terrible free kick, honestly. Right. I think... Now that I've seen enough to the point where I want to see what we can do with those passes through the center, because our best chances have come with those little balls where we've just got them in through the center. Sal with the strike! <laughs> Hits the crossbar. Wow, he would be the most unlikely scorer of all time. But it seems like our, our spine of the team is actually probably our best part of it so far. The wide players are not getting as involved. And sometimes I find that going through the center actually frees up space for the wide men because they're not focusing the play there so much. But we'll see. To berate them. Oh, God. That was a good effort. Little scissor kick. Laskovsky coming down the right-hand side again. He actually should hopefully get back. Ah, oh, lovely defending again. Neslo is just winning everything at the moment. It's great. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Oh, and again. Great work from Navio this time. Hello, Pogs. What's up? What is it? 
Oh, I spawned. Can I have it in a bit? Because ambulance is what? Shit. Is that for Bram Van Dam? Must have been a serious injury. Apparently there's three ambulances outside an air ambulance. Bram Van Dam's injury might be more serious than we thought, chat. Hmm? Oh, seriously? I retract that statement. Um, that's actually kind of serious. Um, shit. Shit, hopefully she's alright. Well, you just said... Oh, okay. Right. He is three people. This is very true. As Christensen bursts in behind. He's got through on goal. Petra Christensen goes around the goalkeeper and he's missed the target. Oh. Depends, Bev. It will be a massive bottle if we lose this. <laughs> What's happening? Basically, there's three ambulances outside and an air ambulance, apparently. Um, we Yeah, we don't know what's going on. So... At first, I thought Emma was just mucking about, hence the Bram Van Dam comments. But uh, damn, that was a big chance for Christie. Huge chance for Christie. But we're creating. But the point is, it was a ball through the center, and I think that's our way through them. We've had plenty of good opportunities. Hit like a car? Nah. Trust me, it's not. Not on hit. There's, you wouldn't be able to go fast enough to get hit by a car here because it's a dead end. Um, so it's unlikely that. It's more likely a uh, health, like like a more specific health problem, I would say. But I don't know. I don't know the uh, situations. We've definitely got better now. Yeah, look at this. We're actually starting to take a bit of control of this game. Look at the tackle from Navio. Valev looks up again. He's got men inside. Please use them. Yes. Always use the men when they're inside. That's the rules, chat. Sal down the right. He's actually done a, as much as his rating is not fantastic. Oh, what a ball. Which is some great goals. Amulus for health problem. <laughs> what would you want me to say, eh? Hey, what do I know? I'm just me. <laughs> Someone fell out of an attic, maybe. Um, I, I don't know what's going on. But at, at the end of the day, it's none of my business also at the same time. I'm not one of those nosy curtain twitches, you know. I think the only reason M noticed is because she'd just come back from the shops. Was that our first foul in the in the game already? Lovely. Again, Laskowski is just not get. My suspicion is that well, the way Chelsea are playing this, he's not set to cross from deep. He has good crossing. And if they set him to cross from deep, he'd be a threat. Problem is, he's trying to get too far forward. And... Because he has no dribbling ability, Niaxu is able to get the tackles in, him, in on him more regularly than not. And I think that's going to be really key for shutting the likes of Laskovsky and that other guy, Chakars, down this season. This season? This game. Good ball. See what I mean? That time he actually got the cross in, and it was more threatening. But for the most part, if we can just prevent him from getting into crossing positions, that's going to make a lot of difference there, I think. Oh, likes to be in the... I don't know. I'm just not really bothered by other people's business, you know? Focus on myself. We're in a Champions League file. I've got things to focus on again. Well blocked. Laskovsky can't get his crossing. Lovely stuff. I'll ask my other spies in the area. Do you mean your mum? <laughs> Cold assess what I see. <laughs> oh, dear. It's one of the things I'll find out later. Valev. Oh. Curtain Twitcher should be an F a PPM. Yeah, mate. <laughs> yes, it would. I reckon Stefan Valev likes a bit of curtain twitching, you know. Okay, but now we're throwing some tackles in. Where maybe we shouldn't be. Takaz is in. And that's a weak ass effort over the crossbar. This is good. Tries to exactly. Like, nobody wants that. I'd look like an I look like an actual clown. Unironically. If we're gonna have to run around for six hours, Jesus. Pog and I, Pog's working late next Wednesday, and we're going to go to McDonald's on the way home when I pick her up, right? I guarantee you this will be another one of the the, the sequence of them not having the products I want. <laughs> New story for nomads. <laughs> we do need a second goal, but I feel like it's still been a very balanced game, honestly, but we're playing better than them. Just quite simply, we are playing better. We're having slightly better chances. Obviously, our goal was probably the lowest quality chance. Uh, the goal for us was Manea, and boy, oh boy, was it a good goal. Yeah, he's bent one from the edge of the area in the top corner. Absolute scream. Not even a screamer. Just a finessed... What the hell? Petra, are you sure you're on our team? Final's being held. I think it's the uh, part of France, which I feel like was the final destination last time as well. He's fully just run that straight out of play. Valiv, Manea. Oh, surely he's not got another one in. Oh. Um... Is it just me? 
No, I can't make him shoot more often because of the, the role he's in. And I kind of like the way he performs the role. It's kind of like what I did with um, Saranen on the other side, but I don't want to risk that in the middle of a match, not changing the entire role around. I know I can make him an attacking midfielder and give him a lot of the same peop the, the same instructions, but I don't want to risk it at this point, considering we're playing so well. Although Niax, you could thump one, potentially. Oh, it's a good cross. Cleared away again. We're also getting all these second balls now, and they're being cleared. Chance yeah, exactly. The problem with full matches, you see a lot of chances like that that were just never meant to be seen. Valev? <gasps> oh, okay. Okay, this is fine. Anyone struggling? Sal oh, Lukacic, weirdly, is the one player that's sort of struggling. To be fair, we have been better this year. We won every game in our group. The first game that we didn't win in the Champions League was that one all against Manchester City, I think it was. And obviously, we the only game we've lost in Europe this year was the, the second leg against Barca. Shout. Oh, we can't shout. It's 1-0. So no shouting is going to make any difference at this point, sadly. If only it would happen. I mean, 4-1. Did we lose 4-1? Oh, yeah, the 4-1. <laughs> Wait, no, we lost... Uh, we drew 4-all in that. No, uh, 4-all. It was 4-all. Sorry, yeah. Not 4-1. What am I thinking? We were 4-1 down, then it was 4-all. 1-all, indeed. Forgetting about one of the most exciting games we've had in years. Oh. I want to see if they've changed anything. Doesn't appear so. I mean, look, Takaz is struggling. Laskowski's having an okay game, honestly. Their midfield's not really doing much. Their centre-backs are doing okay. The keeper's having a good game. Uh, Vulcan's still doing things because he's Vulcan. Individual player? Nah. Well, no point. Um, never done it before. Why would I start now? Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, right, let's get rid of that. And get a bit of that. Cool. I just want to keep an eye on it. There's no, for me, maybe at half-time they'll make that change. Because to me, the smart thing to do for Chelsea would be to push Bermanets up front and then push that new guy out onto the right-hand side. But maybe they just value his efforts as a playmaker too much. And it's another corner for us. Okay. Milkshake isn't working. Guy in front of me gets a milkshake. Yep. It's... I hadn't... Oh, livid. Tubovich with the ball in. Valev's on it. Oh, shit. I, you know when you're, like, directly adjacent to the goal and you can't tell which direction the ball is moving in? I thought that was going towards the goal for a second there. But, hey, it's still 1-0. It's been a piss... We, what I would say is we've been better defensively today than we were in the last two finals. We haven't given Chelsea... that. Other than that Vulcan chance, like, 20 minutes in, we've basically seen nothing out of them from an attacking perspective. Go on, Thizy, he's never going to catch that. Oh, I bloody love it. I bloody love it. Every now and then, it's a nice little treat, right? I go in there, get my chicken select, and I'm a happy boy. A little McFlazzle to go with it. Big milkshake. Crazy times. Uh, got no game gaming. That's terrible news. Thank you so much for the follow. And Strongo with the six months. And I'm being rung now by... Now, now I'm getting a phone call. Um, I'm going to have to decline that for the moment. I am in a Champions League final. Simone <laughs> Sauve spending the my Saturdays with you. It is Thank you for the stream and the awesome content here on YouTube. Thank you so much, Strongo. That's so kind of you. Um, my reaction there was because... Peter Christensen's just tried to chip the goalkeeper and hit the crossbar doing it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, we've hit the bar twice already. In fact, let me, is that actually going to show two woodworks? No, one. This is what I mean. It doesn't always actually count woodwork shots as woodwork. Oh, a 20 box of... Yeah, exactly. It's probably the, oh, yeah, they're like, hey, there's a guy in a Hawaiian shirt around here. He's bound to be helpful. <laughs> Maybe they're called the same people, Stan. <laughs> the same co oh <laughs> south just was shoved over that isn't a yellow surely is it oh it is nicholas rosa arson is now on a yellow okay what the hell <laughs> what a fucking waste of a free kick it's a yellow red ass. Thizy, you've got to do better than that, buddy. That's a chance for an excellent delivery, and you've just gone, nah, how about I just kick this straight out of play? And he's had a good game. Okay, Thizy, are you okay, bud? I think he's, I think what he needs, chat, is a little sit down, slice of pizza at half time, and maybe some electrolytes. It's what plants crave. And I think it's what Thys Freeze is craving at the moment, because he seems to have absolutely lost his head in the last few moments of this match. <laughs> Yeah, maybe it was for, like, an accumulation of fouls. I don't know if that's actually a thing in FN. To be fair, it was, like, a fairly blatant push, but... Oh, <laughs> imagine his face when he gets set off. <laughs> oh, and he actually, again, just causing all sorts of problems down this left-hand side. Uh, ooh. Okay, that's fine. That's fine. Frozen feet. It do be feeling like that, yeah. Navio's really up to his game. What's going on with Lukacic? He's really struggling. Which is concerning. 
luckily the defensive teammates around him are covering up, papering over the cracks a little bit. Oh, ho, ho, that ball is on. If we just keep playing that pass, Christensen's going to get on the end of something. I mean, he already has a few times, to be fair, but uh, eventually there's going to be a chance that's worth taking. Okay, that's fine. Into the channel. No problem for the action. Let's just get to half time. We're winning 1 0 at the moment, anyway. Multiple fouls. Oh, okay. I wonder if it's just like a thing they say. But he has committed multiple fouls. So in this scenario, I think it actually did make sense. Yeah, Lukacic hasn't really done much, but it's weird. He hasn't really done anything negative either. So it's weird that he's on such a low rating. We'll have a little look at his stats at half time, see if we can figure out why. FFP's not looking good. No, we're 19 million in the red again for good reasons. It should be okay after this match, hopefully. And again, Navio just cuts across, wins the ball. I like that Mane was filling in for the centre-back role there briefly. He's so hard to track because he has that roam from position on him. Oh, as a ball. That's a great pass. The action's in on goal. The action's in on goal. Oh, no. Oh, this isn't where I parked my car. Oh, a rolling Gramus or a rolling Ramus. Thank you so much for the follow. Oh, great tackle again from Thais. Oh, dear. I can't believe. Just shoot. Just shoot the action. Or at least provide a decent pass for someone else. Oh, my God. Was that Thighs Freeze again? That just... Or was that Navio? It looked like Thighs Freeze again. It's just had a shot on our goal. Luckily, Neslo's there. Thank God for... Oh, God. Gavrila could shoot from this distance. That's nice. Well done. Get out to him. It's like we're deliberately trying to allow Chelsea back into this. Is this the stuff you don't normally see in those other matches? Where it's like your team's just randomly allowing them back into it. But my... I ex beat Real Madrid in the Champions League quarters. Is that a question? Or is there a question coming? I'm waiting. I'm not playing too much for the middle. True. Well, I want to have a look at his stats at halftime. See if there's any, like, statistic that he is underperforming. Like, maybe it's like he's not winning enough aerial duels, or they've won more key tackles, or they've made more pass completion. There we go. Halftime. Treaty 1. Chelsea nil. Okay. How did they beat them 6-1? Ah. Through magic. Through the magic of dance. That's been a trash game, but we're the better, we're the better of the two trash teams in this final so far. Right, statistics. Let's have a little look. Anything noteworthy? It's just to look at defensively for a minute because you can see that there's a massive gap here. So, he said a couple of shot blocks, but then N Navio's made none of those. Uh, he's been aerially average but compared to Navio. He has made a key header. He's had, what's that? Clearances, relatively straightforward. No interceptions. His pass completion is 100%. He is getting a lot of... Look how much of the ball Neslo's getting. It does seem odd to me that his rating is so low. Considering I can't see what he's done that the others haven't. Unless it's this. Oh, this isn't where I ah, took my it's car. the fact that he's made no tackles. No interceptions. Yeah, it has to be the no tackles. But the thing is, that's kind of harsh on him. Because he's not really been in a position to make any tackles because he hasn't needed to. That like they've not played the ball towards him. Uh, Leo Jordan, thank you for the follow. Yeah, it's like he's being punished because he hasn't been able... Hasn't been in a position to do it when there's been no need for a tackle. That's a shame. So, honestly, that makes me not too worried about his performance because that suggests to me that we haven't seen what he's like if he actually has had to make a tackle yet. So, that doesn't worry me too much there at all. Um, Trubovic has been lovely. That's defensively, I admit. Let's have a look at the attacking side of things. Like, obviously, a couple of saves of Sonetsky. Nothing major there. Uh, some good dribbles, though, from Sao, actually. He's been the more dribbly of the two players. Look at that. And he actually has not got many, many crosses in. He's not actually completed a cross yet. Whereas Sao's completed two, I think, maybe. Interesting. The actual, maybe he's been more aerial. He's been better in the air. Oh, no, has he? Wait, no. Hmm. Interesting. What about going forward? Lots of aerials. It's kind of crazy that Valve's only won 50%. <laughs> I love that Christmas has won all of his aerial dues. Dues? Drool. Duels. Look at the running that Thighs Freeze is getting through. And the two wide men as well. The one guy that's not doing a lot of running, actually, is Petr Christensen, who I would quite like to be... It's not that, I love that Valev's doing more running than he is. It's like, mate, you're meant to be stretching them a little bit. Yeah, that's fine, though, but that doesn't make me worried. It's, as long as we know the reason for it, right? That's fine. It'd be different if we looked in here and he'd made, like, three tackle attempts and has failed on all of them. That would be much more worrying than being on a 6.4 because the game's just punishing you. There are three wide men, aren't there? Uh, for Chelsea. Chelsea have got two strikers, and then they've got two wide men on the thing of 4-4-2. Hey, Zaretto. I think we're okay at the moment. Let's just have a little look at Chelsea's lineup and see if there's anyone that's maybe sticking their head above that I can maybe just pressure a little bit further. Because for the moment, I'm actually pretty pleased with that. Anyone playing well for Chelsea? So Alejandro Vulcan, I'm doing what we could already do. I might go after Antoine Peters a little bit more on the press because he's the one guy in their midfield and Laskovsky maybe as well. Because those guys are getting 6.8. Everyone else is just kind of average or worse. It's just, and obviously the keeper's done fine. 
And we'll leave the rest as it is. Has uh, Del Mastro done much since he came off the bench? 6.6. .6, no impact whatsoever. Drop the press on Bermanets. Uh, why? It's working. He's on a 6.5. Whatever's working on him right now, I'm not going to touch. He's, he's playing poorly. And I'd like to think that something we've done is the reason for that. So I don't really want to drop something that I think is working fine. Hey, why, Kakum? How's it going, my friend? The three wide men gave the ref gold frankincense and myrrh. <laughs> Their morale is definitely worse than ours as well. Hey, Chuck. They're tired. Are they tired compared to us or is this just because half time? Also, he's not looking that sharp. Neither is fun. Well, he could be got at. So their left hand side is on a yellow, which is actually good because um, Sauer has been the one guy that's been getting positions or been getting into good positions. So I wonder if he's going to get more space in the second half because Rosa Arsen isn't going to be able to push him so hard. He's also had a poor game. We are. We're one nil up. We are actually winning a Champions League final. I love how I can do next match only in the middle of a game. Doing so well. I need to pull him out of position. Uh, I guess, but he's not doing that well. That's the thing. He's, I would rather get, I think, the reason I'm going to do this is because I wanted to win the ball off Laskowski further up. I want to get that ball off of him and force him to not have to dribble so far forward. And I think that's the way of doing it. But we'll see. Hello, Pog. I have a coffee, Chato. Look at me. Look at me with a big iced coffee. Oh, I've got a straw and everything. Oh. Yeah. Really nice. Really nice, actually. Okay. Anyone looking super knackered? Trubovic might have to be a sub in the second half for just tiredness reasons. But for the moment, I'm liking what I'm seeing. They've got more possession than us. We've only committed one foul in the first half, which is great. Wait, what did I say in the predictions? How did I spell Chelsea in the predictions chat? I was doing that during the intro. Right, okay. Second half, we can do a bit of this. Uh, delighted, and that gives them more motivation. Ha, <laughs> Schleese. No, no, it's a different team chat. It's Schleese. Hey, Rob. Right. There's a little umbrella. Oh, you love to see it, my friends. Right, second half, 45 minutes away from a Champions League win. There's a lot to still be done, but I'm liking what I'm seeing so far. Here in the rain, shout out Schleese. I kind of just want Niaxu in on Laskowski. Because in spite of the fact that, for me, he's been kind of bad today, he's still racking up rating, which means he is still getting some crosses in, presumably. Because I don't know what else he could really do. I just want to get in on him a little bit more. And win the ball slightly higher up the pitch. So Niaxu can maybe get a few more crossing opportunities. Oh, that was poor. As Vulcan is just coming straight through. Oh, no. Oh, wow. Okay. Did he just try to pass the ball to himself there? It sure looked like it. But you know how these teams can be. Sometimes they just come out in the second half and just absolutely smash us. So hopefully that doesn't happen today. Manea on the ball. Finds Christie. Here we go. Pop it back inside. I like the idea, but Christensen's just not really been ready for that kind of ball today. I'm trying to think who we've got bench-wise that could make a difference at the moment for us. Yeah, you're right. Chelsea are not really focusing any of their play towards the likes of Lukacic, are they? So he's barely had anything to do. Here we go. And he actually straight into the channel. Nice. This is more like it. Va what is Stefan Valev doing there? What, what is he doing there when we're flying into the box? And he's like, no, I'm going to make a little run to the left-hand side of the box for some reason. Like, buddy, you are designed for not that. Right, Trubovic again. Valev, cleared away. Yes, Pog. Oh, Jesus. Okay, yeah, um, not now. Yeah. Oh, dear. Uh, the last one Zaretto was, yes, and the one before that as well. <laughs> Every Champions League final we've played in this save has been against Chelsea. We've got a bit of a bee in our bonnet against them at this point. Nesla got booked. Shit. I didn't see that. What was it for? Was it a justified booking? That is annoying considering it's only our second foul of the game, but I suppose if it was a justified booking, then it's, it is what it is. Oh, God. Now, Valet. Watch him get booked as well now. A bougie coffee. Oh, yes. Well, it's a bougie cool coffee. What a save from Swanetsky. Holy shit, what a stop from Swanetsky. That right there is gorgeous. It is the third Champions League final, yes, against Chelsea as well. Del Maestro will take this. Nezla will clear it nicely. What a save from the young Polish keeper. That right there is... That could be a big turning point. You go to the Colchester game later. Awesome. Oh. Head us straight at the keeper. Yeah, but the keeper had to be there. Like, he was in the right position to make the save. Oh, Arsene's got a bit of space here. Cleared away again. Right, now breakaway for us, potentially. Valev. Oh, oh well, lovely touch from Thais Freeze. Now he actually has been freed up out wide. Here we go. Bit of space, finally. So congested as hell game, this one. Oh, dear. Okay, he's won us to throw higher up the pitch. He's taken the pressure off of us defensively, which is the main thing there. 
anyone still struggling beyond the normal one? Not in a hurry. True, yeah. And he actually... Oh, good... Ah. Uh, nice idea. Like, the ball was actually on there. Oh, Sal. Oh, that's a lovely pass. Really lovely pass. Oh! Wow. That's better. That was a lovely. So, basically, um, Smolensky started this game because... Uh, during we were four one basically we, we beat manchester city 4-2 in the first leg in the quarterfinals in the second leg we were 4-1 down at half time and the um Mikulic had managed to save virtually sod all i made a raft of changes to half time including substituting the goalkeeper we then pulled the game back to four all and were able to qualify for the semi-finals i then decided that he then got to start the next game as a result of his heroics uh and then we ended up going to penalties and he managed to save two penalties in the shootout. And I then decided that he'd done enough then to value his sort of earn his spot as the goalkeeper for the final at that point. Because at that point, you've kind of just got to go with a guy who's in form. And he was in form. So, and today he's already shown it. Makes some great saves off of Vulcan. And another one there. That's a cheeky little foul from Laskovsky as well. I want to keep an eye on Laskovsky's rating. He was on a 6.8 at half time. I want to see if we can bring that down a little bit. Oh. Swadetsky just a bit out of his goal there, but that's fine. Lukacic on the ball. And lovely pass from Lukacic. He's really opened the pitch up there with that. Freeze again, given space. Yes, that's more like it. Sal with a bit of room up against their booked winger. And oh, loads of room for him. Ah, we should get that though. Nice. Freeze again. Manea. Oh, cheeky. I'm not sure what he's really attempting there, but it didn't work. On par with Mikulic. Um, no, they're not. But... To be fair, I, with goalkeepers, I find that their attributes seem to be a complete side issue. <laughs> so, no. He's worse than Mikulic in virtually every area, but he makes saves. And that's all I want my keeper to do, really. Right, and he actually wins it again. Unfortunately, he's the one he would normally be aiming that for. Yeah, Valev is just struggling a little bit. I mean, he's not struggling in the sense that like, his rating is fine and he's winning some stuff, but he's not in the right position a lot, which is a bit frustrating. Like, we'd be running with the ball on the left-hand side, and for some reason, the right striker of Valev is making a run to the left corner of the box instead of getting to the back post, which is odd. I know he's not, like, um an advanced forward or anything, but it's weird that he'd push to that side of the pitch in general. Right, Christensen's got it in a good position here. Drasic, finally, take the defender. Oh, my lord. Petta, buddy. That's not what you want to see from them there. It's a few times now that Christensen's been put into a good position has just been unable to hold the ball up. Right, here we go, again. With a throw for us or something. That's more like it. Keeps the play moving. Valev. Oh, oh, that's a shocker. Let's just, let's just pushed him. Silly this. F1 and football manager. Thank you for the follow. Right, this freeze is going to go for this from distance because he always does. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. It's, it's just half the second. It's the second half of the first half, part two. This isn't it. Oh, Valev's into a lovely spot. That's more like. Oh dear. He's just trying to overcomplicate things a little bit. Neslo. What if we stop working the ball into the box, maybe? Oh, lovely. He sat him down. Ball in, but again, the guy you want on the end of it is not there. Oh, and Peters has dispossessed Turbovich now. He's going to have to just trap back and foul him. Oh, well done, Neslo. Gets a little toe on that, but now he's got to get back and cover. That's fine. Right, Sal versus Arsene. Just a little block. Okay, that's fine. Well won. Lukacic is struggling further, but we know the reason, so it should be okay. Freeze rating, actually, is weirdly going up still. That's fine. Clear the way. I'm trying to keep an eye on the fitness levels of the players as well, just in case. Oh, Laskowski has finally found some space. But luckily, Sao is up against one of the few players on the pitch shorter than him. Uh, Valev is a deep line forward on support. And uh, before we say he's not expected to get goals, the man got 55 goals last season. So he's very much a goal scorer in that role as well. Oh, that's better. Christensen. Oh, if he could get that pass right, he's... Very much a, uh, a threat there. Navio again. Oh, that's dangerous. How are we doing statistically? It's still... We're still the better side at the moment. We're still creating little bits and bobs. Oh, that is just woeful again. Oh, dear. Make them play more freely. Yeah, 55. I think it was 55. No, but I'm 52. Christensen got 59, of course. Uh, but... Yeah, he's still got a decent amount of them. Obviously, he scored some from corners too because he has a decent height, but obviously, he's not going to get all of them from corners. He's just a great scorer. I might just turn off work one of the box because we're not winning the possession battle anyway, and I might just free us up a little bit so that I think part of the problem with work one of the box, sometimes it works really well. 
The times I find it doesn't work is when you get those key moments where you're getting through on goal and sometimes they overplay the ball because of it. And we've had a few chances in today's game where overplaying has actually cost us an opportunity for a shot. And we haven't really seen many opportunities where we've worked our way into a position for a shot. And it feels like that might be a better bet for us today. Plus, it's not like out of our tactical plan. We already have that kind of as a thing we do. So we're not tearing up the script or anything. A wet windy night. Well, can he score on a wet windy night in Paris? Run for position selected. Yeah, he doesn't. Um, the only player with room for position selected is Manea. And he's done it very effectively today, actually. It was very weird. It was only one play that he did it, but it was annoying because we had a lovely crossing opportunity on the left side. And he moved over to the left-hand side, so therefore wasn't in the box to receive the cross. It was uh, bizarre. It must have been something to do with the way the play built up. I think sometimes they kind of get a mind of their own in certain scenarios in the match, right? Right. Ball through. Easy for the goalkeeper. Selects that. Lovely. Right. He's a safe pair of hands. I don't mind seeing Lukacic's rating go down. As long as Neslo and Navio's ratings continue to increase alongside it, that's fine. Out of position after dropping. No, this is the thing. He started off on the right-hand side and made a run across to the left. It was so bizarre. Right, Valve again. This is where he's really effective in that little pocket. Oh, that's poor. That's really poor. Uh, shout is 1-0. Can't shout. It's it's a one-goal lead. Until we're, there's something that isn't a one-goal lead, then we can't do any shouting because it will just do nothing or worse, negative things, sadly. That's offside. Yeah, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, Valve actually did quite well to win that. Just keeps the pressure on them. Sal is struggling. The issue is, with Boggy being injured, we don't really have a ready-made replacement for Sal. Like, if we just look at our bench options for a second, for who I would bring on to replace Sal. Yeah. The only option would be to um, do what we did against City in that second half of the Champions League semi uh, knockouts, where we put Radojic on the right and made him an inverted wing-back. That's our backup plan. If we have to do it, then that's what we'll do. Because it worked before and we have proof that it worked. Other changes I would make. At the moment, honestly, the team's looking good. Other than Luka Dish's rating, which doesn't bother me because it's not actually, like, doesn't matter. Everything else is okay. Like, we've obviously got Trotter if we desperately need another sub. Everyone's looking compo composed and pleased right now. And at the moment, we're winning the match. So if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? Just play George Michael. Sorted. Everything will be fine. Ooh, that battle's continuing. He's lucky to get away with that one. He's a bit mad. Um, okay, well, fair one. Everyone's entitled to their opinion. Ah. Christensen down the left. With half an hour to go, like, Chelsea still haven't really threatened us much in this game. They've they show no real... They haven't gone behind us other than that one little opening for Vulcan in the very early part of the game. Right, Nayakshu here. That's lovely pick out. Oh, come on, lads. Don't overplay it. Come on, just do... Sorry, what part of... Oh! Hoo -hoo. Just why are they overplaying the ball so much there? Just put it in the box! I don't, is it because they were already in the box? <laughs> they were like, oh, we've, we're already here. <laughs> Valiv. Freeze. Uh, that flavour, I believe it's called Signature Orange, Peter. It's, I didn't even know we had it, but I found it earlier, and it's actually quite tasty. If anything, it looks like we're starting to take a bit more control again now. That's a great ball from Neslo. Yes. Oh, wait, no. He's baited the defender in. Right, put a ball in the box. Okay. <laughs> Your move, I guess. Oh, hang on. Oh, it's a shot. We've had a shot. We've managed to uh, organise ourselves into a shot there, albeit a long-range one, but it is nevertheless a shot. Yeah, we're pushed up more on Laskovsky. It might be giving more space for Bermanets too, though. Let's have a look at the ratings. Still on the 6.8. He hasn't grown anymore. And Bermanets has actually gone up a teensy bit. But nobody else has really done anything. And Rosa Arsene has been dreadful for Chelsea today. It is a shot. Oh. Have Chelsea made a substitution? Well, they have. Right, so they brought on... Lagadich. So we had... That was for Gavrila. So we'll just show him onto weak foot for now. See what kind of... In, so he's obviously deep line playmaker. Which actually implies they have changed the system slightly. Because I swear that was a mess before. Yeah, we've worked the ball in the box. Now what? <laughs> no, it's not that it's broken. It's just that if you shout when you're a goal up, 99% of the time, the shout has a negative effect even if you're praising the player. So I just don't do it. And why would I start doing it now in a final? <laughs> oh, dear. 
<laughs> the players are now working the ball out of the box in it. <laughs> Go on, Petter. Yes. Right, he's going to have to look back inside at some point. That's fine. Oh, my God. There's three players around you and you pass to the Chelsea player. What on earth was that? I do wonder if, if Andres Trotter might be getting the end of this game at this rate. Uh, <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. Did Lukacic win a header? Yes. Every time Lukacic does something, chat, I want you to let me know. <laughs> Just so we can see if his rating starts to creep up a little bit. Oh. Like, the shirts are a little bit different, aren't they? you think he would be able to tell. Oh, dear. Oh, yeah. I mean, Prey should work at 1-0 as well, but they don't for the most part. So I just don't do it. Um, I always start every new game cycle. I always test them out and see if they work properly. And if they don't, then I just stop doing it for the whole game cycle and go back to my normal approach, which is <laughs> encourage at defeats and whatnot. And then praise when you two goals up. Praising is fine. Praising is brilliant if you get two goals up. It stops them from staying, stops the players from getting complacent uh, when you've got large leads. I fight. Oh, that's a great ball. That's a great ball. What a save from Swanetsky. He has been on it tonight. He's had to make some genuinely good stuff. No, encourage never works when you're up. Never, ever. Sours? Oh, God. Please, no. Night. Good block. Yeah, Sours' rating isn't good, but that's not really my concern. It's more about just uh, how are we playing? Sure, I. All right. I hate when people say that. He shot right at the goalkeeper. Yeah, and the goalkeeper's positioning quality is what put him in the position to have it shot right at him. <laughs> he had to put himself there. Oh, Tupovic with a bit of space here. He's a bit congested in that zone at the moment. There we go. Lovely pass from Thais Freeze. Come on. That's fine. We'll take another corner. Might be our best chance to get Valor to do something. Lukacic has gone up in ratings. Maybe it was that header chat. It was the key. They've still got a really short guy marking Valor. If we could just get the right ball in, which we once again fail to do. Oh, dear. Cherbovic. Manea! Oh, imagine if he'd scored two absolute screamers in the Champions League final. That was better. It feels like we're threatening again. We're having little openings again. Even if they are from range occasionally, we still look comfortable. Manea again. I love it when he drops between the two CMs. It's one of the things I really like about the roam from position instruction on our attacking playmaker is that you'll sometimes just sit deeper than the, than the CMs and picks up the ball in great positions. And it always finds that it drags one of the defenders out with him sometimes. It's really useful. So much for Chelsea fans. Well, we're a pretty small club in the grand scheme of things, aren't we, right? Even our home attendances only get 20k. Valev. Nice. Again, the play is looking much more smooth in the build-up now. Key player. Um, I don't know. Oh, hang on. Oh, no. He should have left that. Give him a shout and bay. Key player. Neslo Trubovic. Pretty key. Christensen, obviously. Yeah. Um, it was what really made the AP role work for me was the roam from position. And again, just getting into that position. Dropping it off to one of the other guys that are in better positions. And then going from there. Oh, if Sal could have found the pass there. We've been all over them for the last sort of 10 minutes of this match. It's been much... Oh, God. I've got to stop speaking. <laughs> got to stop speaking. We play a shit pass every time I open my mouth. Right, Neslo, just shepherd him, shepherd him, shepherd him. Lovely. We beat, uh, who was it? It was, who was it? We beat Porto, Man City, Barcelona on pens, and then that's how we got here. And it was 8-6 against Manchester City. What a tie that was. Uh-oh. Niaxu is doing a really good job at challenging Bermanets in the air for those far post crosses, and it's really useful. Oh, no, 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 no. What a block from Mbay Sal. That is a goal-saving block, potentially. Oh, was that Neslo? I think it was Sal. He looks smaller. And cleared. That's fine. And in fact, not only is it fine, they've allowed Christensen to bring the ball out the air. Right, Valev's peeling into space. Uh, sort of. <laughs> He's doing stuff. Oh. It was Sal, yeah. Hmm, Okay. Plus, I like the fact that we're, we're 20 minutes left and we've not made a single sub yet because we're actually not having to make loads of like panic substitutions to try and change the game. I like being in this position. It's a rarity for us. Usually, we'd have probably made like two subs by now because we'd have been trying to change things around. Yeah, again, Lucas just didn't need to challenge that because one of the, thing, the reasons is with us playing the back three and they've got the two strikers, there's always a free man to just scoop up the ball when they win the aerial challenge, which is useful. Right, now we're a bit out of position here because Luke, what a tackle. Well played, buddy. Oh. Uh, if Sal's 6.6 .6 and scored, he's having a mare. Who scored? Sal hasn't scored. He's the right wing back.
Maneo was the score. Maneo scored the goal. Are you going to watch the Fulham game? Yes. Holland again. Oh my god. That's the first time I think that Niachu's lost an aerial battle with Bermanets. Oh, no, no. Sal didn't score. Uh, we were just talking about Sal with that block. Okay, so Niachu's struggling, but I don't want to bring in... Actually, Niachu's struggling more than Sal now. If anything. Sal seems to have been able to maintain a bit more fitness levels for this second half. If anything, it might be Radojic for Niachu. One of them, Radojic is going to be coming on in about five minutes, I think. And then we'll make a we'll make a single change at 75, which will probably be that swap. And then we'll contemplate what to do for the rest of the match after that. Because we've always got to have the, the expectation that there could be extra time if we were to concede, which is always possible in FM, you know? <laughs> it's always very much a possibility. Sal's just absolutely <laughs> destroyed that man. Relative, the very tiny dragon. It's like how to train a dragon, but like right at the start. <laughs> oh, come on. It is. He's got away with a lot tonight, honestly. Imagine if he gets a clean sheet. Yeah, Sal is definitely getting better in the second half, I think. Even though the rating is kind of all over the shop at the moment. Oh, Diop. What on earth is Diop doing that far forward? He's their centre back. Right, they've changed something. They have to have done. Yeah. Ah, they've moved Diop out wide. Which, honestly, makes less sense in my mind because he's got no... Well, he's, he's nowhere near as good at crossing as Laskovsky was. He's better on the dribble, but... All right, let's just uh, sort that so we can see what to do. With that in mind, though, I'm also going to turn that off of Laskovsky because I don't want us pressing and type doing too much on their centre back they've left their other substitutions Bermanax is still out there everything else is still looking the same because they can damn right I'm glad we yeah that'll do yeah what I might do is if we were in a position where I felt like we were going to win I could bring on Mihai Alaku late on the captain to lift the trophy because he deserves it but we haven't won anything yet <laughs> that is the key Christensen if we were to have a second goal though that could change dramatically Thighs Freezer, actually, despite the fact that I have criticised him a few times with his passing in today's game, he has actually done a really stable job of just keeping that midfield under control. In fact, all three of our central midfielders and attack... Like, the midfield three have actually done a really good job in this game of just being in the right positions. Come on. And it's out of play. That's fine. Right, I think now might be the time for Niaxu. It feels like he's starting to uh, flag a little bit. He's had an okay game. But of all the people, I think he is probably... It's either him or Sal, and I think we've only got one choice, and I think it's going to have to be Radojic on Fort Niaxu. Keep the rest... Oh, Sal just... Wow, he's dropped off a lot in the last couple of minutes. Sal was on a 6.7, like, five minutes ago, and he has dropped off massively in the last couple of minutes. But the problem is, if we bring Radojic on, we'll have to change the role to an inverted wingback, and I do wonder if that could cause problems. Shit, just dropped my vape. It's going to have to be one of those two. The question is, Who? That's a good point. And they are mostly aiming their crosses. I, I think it might have to be Sal and invert the wing back because Radojic would lose all the aerial battles to Bermanets, whereas they're not really challenging. That's a good point. Radojic would be up against a five foot two winger. And he is also five foot two on this side. So actually, that might be what we need to do. It's unfortunate, but we, it worked for us before. So we invert wing back and attack. Like we did against Manchester City. And bear in mind, when we did this last time, we were 4-1 down at half-time and we drew 4 all, And probably could have won. So that's going to be the change. If we had... Um, if Mamani was fit and Bogdanov was fit, this wouldn't be an issue. We'd just bring on um, Bogdanov to play there. But unfortunately, with them both being out injured, he's the best choice we've got, really. But Sauer's really struggled over the last five or six minutes. And I wonder if the tiredness is just getting into him. I know that tiredness can affect passing and stuff like that, and it might be costing us. But we can't afford to have um, Radojic getting bodied at the back post by Bermanets. Because it feels like a lot of Chelsea's good chances are coming with those back post crosses to Bermanets. Mainly because they can't hit a back post cross to the other guy because he's too short. But we'll see. Oh. Yeah, Radojic is brilliant. He's a great player. And he gets plenty of game time every year. So it's nice to have an option like that that's a four-star player. Del Maestro's through. That's fine. Just let him go out wide. Just cover it off. Nice. And that's out of play. Well done, lads. Very good defending. We've defended extremely well in this game. I'm very proud of them for that. Right, the change is made. Radojic is in. Damn, they've actually come back into a bit. Hadn't noticed that. I think it's those Bermanets headers that he has won a few of them. Right, I guess now it's the moment of truth. Will the inverted dragon work for us here? Or is it going to be the what costs us this game? And he actually is still driving past people brilliantly. Oh, 
Train with Jordan. Yeah, he's right wing back. Oh, no, sorry. No, he's being trained left wing back because that's where he actually plays. Like, that's his actual role. It's very rare that he'd actually... Look at that, he's won a header. The only man on the pitch he could win a header against is that guy. <laughs> and he's managed it. We should have done a lot better with that play again. Oh. Star ratings, I mean, I think star ratings are important, but now that they've added the whole thing about how star ratings can change with form, you have to be careful with it. We found some very good players with very bad star ratings. Like that Korean dude that was like two star rated that in our team that had outrageous attributes across the board. Oh, Navio's done well there to win that. Lukacic is still struggling, but he's keeping pace. I think Limburg on soon for probably Turbo Civic. Might be an 85 minute kind of sub for me, just to give us a little bit more legs in the center of midfield for the final part of this game. Christensen, here we go. Speaking of Turbo Civic, it's Valor. Oh God, Stefan, just shoot. Uh, okay, it's a shot. Yeah, Valor's only three stars in this team. It's mad. He's three and a half if you don't play him in this role, but he's way, he's way better here than as an advanced forward. We don't really want two advanced forwards anyway. Not with what we're doing anyway. Plus, he, he works so well in this role. How's the dragon looking? I don't know if he's even going to play long enough to get a rating at this rate, but I just want to see how he looks on the ball. Oh, Valor's done brilliantly there. Petter. Yes. Where's the run? There's the run. No. Oh, my God. Some of the, la the last passing in this game at times have been utterly woeful. Both for us and for Chelsea. Just those final balls have been letting both teams down all night. Christensen into space, though. Pulls it back for Thais Freeze. Okay. 12 minutes to go. What a ball. Valev! Oh, that's more like it. That's more like what I want to see. Radojic now. Fresh legs up against their tired fullback. Wins us a corner straight off the bat. Come on. Much more like it. This is getting tense now, friends. Turbo Civic. Pops it in. Again, we've not, managed, we've not had one good delivery. All night. Berman is off. Okay, cool. So who do they bring in? Oh, it's Sebastian Emmert. Okay. Intriguing. Oh, also, they've pushed... Uh, ah, they're trying to trap the Toronto out Foxes. So they've moved Diop back inside again. Weirdly. Uh, we were doing that on him. So we'll leave. We'll do what we did on Bermanets on him as well. I think that's their last sub as well. Vulcan's had a good game, but without actually doing anything, it seems. Lagodic is doing a really good job so far. I might trigger press on him as well, honestly. They changed the role for Emma. They might have done. He's much more of a winger. But we'll see. Oh. Because Lagodets, or whatever his name is, has done okay since coming on. Even though I don't feel like I've ever seen him on the ball. <laughs> okay, passes like that will do it. Rosa R said, good block again. Dragon is looking tasty. Everything I've seen him do so far has been positive. He won the header. He had that great bit of play where he sat the defender down and won the corner. He's now got a nice little block on it there. Oh my God, off the crossbar. Whoa, dangerous. They're going to have to throw bodies forward towards the end. That much we know. But if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? That's a poor pass. And that's going to go out of play for a throw. Okay. I reckon sort of 83, 84. That's when we go and get um, Limburg on. Please throw it to... Please don't... What are you doing? He's got a... Why do players do that? He has a completely free player and he throws it to the guy that's got a Chelsea player stood directly on him. That right there is the sort of stuff that just baffles my brain. Like you've only got one pass on and you choose the other option somehow. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank God we didn't concede off of that yet. Oh, that's a pass. Right, now he's got a chance to redeem himself. Oh, that's a nice pass, actually. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Ruined. Neslo again. Nice. Neslo and Navio have been a fantastic pairing today. Oh, Lord. Oh, actually. We're staying on this. Pressure's remaining. Mane with finally got a bit of room, and he's done that. <laughs> oh. oh. Come on. Okay, that's good. Was that a throw for us? It is. Chelsea plays. Emmett's just chested it straight out of play. Hopefully there won't be too much stoppage time. Right, now actually, please throw it to the winger. He's No, of course not. Oh, actually, wait. Oh, no! I don't think it would help us at this point. Maybe. I'm thinking my, my final few substitutions are either going to be... I think, honestly, Christensen has to just stay on. I don't think Trotter's going to stretch them enough to, to the point where it would, be, it would matter bringing him in. I think we need to freshen the midfield up just to get some fresh legs in there. And I think Lindbergh is the guy for the job. Actually, pretty soon. I thought I might get Limburg on now for Trubovic. He's done well, but we need someone to be fresher in this midfield. Freeze has had a better game than him. So I think Limburg is the guy. And then 
the, the last substitution plan is going to be if we're still winning in stoppage time, then we'll bring on Mihai Alaku so he can lift the trophy as captain because he's 34 years old. It's probably going to be one of his last ever seasons as a Treaty United player and it'd be nice as the captain if he was able. Are we going to watch him walk the entire way around the pitch? <laughs> this is time wasting to the nth degree. Well done, Dragon. What are you doing? Stop it! Why did they keep doing that? There's no throw instruction for deep throws. They just That's just what they do. You can't tell them not to. I just figured that would be kind of built in. It's like they're trying to allow Chelsea to have a goal here. Jesus Christ. Yeah, because when you do throw instructions, they only work for throw-ins that are far up the pitch. There's no instructions on defensive, like, deep throw-ins. Good Lord. Playing from the back. We're not playing from the back, as far as I know. Or are we? Nope. We're not, we don't have play-out defense on. <laughs> we just sort of do it naturally, kind of thing. Oh, dear. Change the throwing taker. But I don't... I want my... If we're in a deep defensive zone, I want the right wing back to be the throwing taker. I just wanted to throw it correctly. <laughs> He's obviously got a lot of channel points on Chelsea to win. Oh, dear. Right. Hang on. Diop's back at right wing back again. Wait. No, he's... Oh, he is. He is. He... Maybe I just mucked up, actually. That might be my fault. I'm going to have to keep an eye on that. It might be because I didn't resort this when they made the change. So we might have just allowed him a bit more free. Oh, no. Where's the defense gone? Good save, Swanetsky. Oh. They keep swapping. I know. It's annoying how AI teams can swap their players over like every 30 seconds. There's just no way you'd be able to keep up with that. It's the same with like um, corner instructions. Limburg, Right. Ali's on now. So we've got a fresh body in the midfield to do a bit more running for us. What, Stefan? Radojic. Lovely. Oh. Uh, the pass was actually a really good idea. We've just not been able to be any success with that so far. I might actually... For the final five minutes, turn work ball into the box back on again once this tactical tweak has happened because it will just allow us to maintain possession a bit more. And at the moment, I'm not too worried about getting the second goal now. I'm more worried about us just staying sensible with the ball. And if we work it a bit harder, then... Oh, here we go. Fizzy freeze. Nice. No, never mind. It's out of play again. Based on position player. Uh, ah, too late for that now. <laughs> right, now I can do it. Let's turn that back on again. I might just drop the tempo down one notch. Start to slowly engage the time waste mode, but not yet. In fact, honestly. Oh, we can't do it. There's no real harm in putting one notch of time wasting on. Because it just means that we'll take longer for free kicks and throw-ins and stuff like that. And I think at this stage, there's really no harm in doing that. For, for the first notch anyway. And we can up it later on when we actually reach stoppage time. Hopefully, if we can get to stoppage time. Manea to Christensen again. Finds Valet. Nice ball. Really good ball. That's more like it, Christensen. Oh, is he just nutmeg the Chelsea defender there? Come on. And he acts you to the byline. Whips it through. Cleared away. And it's gone out for a corner. Not corner. Throw in. Okay. Now I can make the change. Just one notch of time wasting. Nothing major. Just make them take a little bit longer of a throw in. Just kill a little bit of extra time when we've got the ball up in the Chelsea half. Stuff like that. Sensible things. Freeze on the ball. He's quite a short boy, Zell Freezy. Manea. And he acts you again. Oh, that's nice. Ah, we lost it. Right, get back now, lads. Don't want to get caught out here. Never mind. Straight to Lukacic. Navio was very pushed up on that play. Manea again. Lovely-ish pass to Radojic. Oh, that little cut back inside is constantly throwing off the Chelsea defender. Team puppy. Oh, God. Neslo. Ooh, now we're in danger zone. There we go. Use Swanetsky. Considering Swanetsky's made a load of good saves and he's not considered a goal, his rating seems to have dropped over the second half, which is kind of odd. Maybe his pass completions dropped slightly. Manea. Run the stuff for Radojic. Pop it back, please. Oh, no. If he knocks that inside first time, then that's a chance and a, probably a goal for Petr Christensen. Lukacic. Limburg now. Here we go. Freezing tons of room. Loads of room on the pitch. Okay, we're, still, we're doing quite well in the last few moments here. Maybe taking, taking work ball in the box off actually wasn't the best idea earlier in this game, but we'll see. Manea. Limburg. So many players inside here. Fired long again. Okay, now Chelsea have the ball and a chance to attack. Well won by Navio again. Oh, oh yeah, this has still got late horrendousness potential for sure. Well won again. Chelsea are getting a bit desperate at the moment. They're firing passes at will. Oh, and again. They're so close to a really good pass. And we have been for most of this game. They've just been unable to find it at any point. 
Tokurt's Limburg with the foul. That's fine. Even if he gets a booking, it doesn't matter. He's already got a free one. Okay. This is dangerous, though, from the breakdown. Right. Chance for us. Oh, and again! The pass is so bad. Just slip it into the channel. Three minutes of stoppage time. Not awful. We can deal with that. It's not too bad. Good block. Right. Once we've uh, let this corner... Once this corner's happened, we'll try and make the sub for Alaku. We want to get this one clear first. Ball in. Thundered away by Neslo. And Valev will win this. Ah, oh, it's a shame he wasn't... Look at this. Chelsea leaving one guy back from a corner. I'm just saying. Right. The change will actually be... Manea for Mihai Alaku. Captain extraordinaire. And yeah, you're right. Maybe upgrade the time waste while we're at it. Oh, except I can't. I'll have to wait for this one to happen now. Oh, Manea's magic moment might well be the goal. Potentially. But we've still got time left. Alec is nervous, I know, but he's the captain. We have to try and get him on for three minutes here. Just to give him the opportunity to potentially lift that trophy. Might be one of his final actions ever in a Treaty United shirt. So what a time it would be. After, what, 15 years at the club? Played in three Champions League finals. It'd be nice for him to finally get a chance to win one, potentially. And that's gone out of play, but that's fine. Right, I'm going to upgrade the uh, time-wasting one more notch now that once this substitution occurs. I've already dropped the tempo down. I'm not going to play for set pieces because I find with our corner setups, we'd encourage too many players to come forward. For the moment, anyway. One minute 30 to go here in the Champions League final. Treaty United 1, Chelsea 0. Oh, that's dangerous. Redo oh, no. They're right. There's actually a bit of players out. Oh, well played. Poor touch. Neslo counters it. Lovely. Great work. Back to Swanetsky. Whoa, that's bad. That was so bad. Just hold on a little bit longer. Radojic now up against Rosa Arsen. Rosa Arsen is knackered. So hopefully Radojic can... Right. Well played. Again, Navio with a great headed clearance. One minute to go. I'm not going to jinx it, but be ready to get those Treaty United, those Treaty badges ready. Just in case. There's still a lot that can go wrong in the next 30 seconds here. Emmert. Around the side for Diop with a bit of space. Cut out by Captain Alaku. Does the job there. Just a calm head on the ball. Lovely work there. That right there has probably just killed us 10 seconds. Just with Alaku holding the ball there. It's just, it's, all he needed to do there was just have a calm head in a sea of tempestuity. Oh, God. Where the hell's the left back gone? Not left back, right back. One last chance for Chelsea. It's over the bar. Surely. One last... Oh, no, it was brilliant header from Lukacic. Puts it over the bar. If Chelsea do not score this corner... It's wide! Laskowski heads it wide, and surely Treaty are going to be champions of Europe. Yes! Treaty United 1, Chelsea 0. We finally fucking done it, Chato. We are champions of Europe. It only took 26 fucking seasons, but we've finally done it. And there, with the captain's armband, is Mihai Alaku. What a man. I'm glad we brought him on for the final moments of this save. Come on! This save, he says. 26 years as a Harrow Bishop Ultras. We'll get to that. Do not worry. Holy shit. Oh, that is so cathartic. There we go. They lift the trophy. Mihai holds it aloft above his head at 35 years old. 15 years at the club. Three Champions League finals. And he's finally bloody won one. Gazman, thank you very much for the four months with that prime. That is so kind of you, my Champion friend. Champion of Europe, let's go. Ooh, got car for the end there. Oh, more treaty badges. Oh, Swanetsky as well. Brilliant. Clean sheet in a Champions League final. And honestly, Chelsea are probably the better side in the end. Their second half performance was better, but we did what we needed to do. We did it. Manea's beauty of a strike in the first half did it for us. I think losing Bram Van Dam was big. Just being better defensively in today's game. They still had some chances towards the end. Um, we didn't create that much. We just did the right things. We managed the game perfectly. We did what needed to be done. Holy fucking shit. Right, now I can take off this tie. Oh, watch us now. Oh, maybe we'll get squad value upgrades. More like Bram Van Dunn. Oh. <laughs> See, it does. Oh. Yeah, I, I quite like them, Rob. They're pretty sick. Bloody hell. I am, I'm, I'm honestly knackered already, my friends. Jim's wheelbarrow is going to the sponsorship deal down. Oh, my days. Dazza with the five gift. Thank you so much. That's so kind of you, mate. Hello, Pog. Yes, of course I am. Dazza, thank you so much, mate. Let's get some presents coming. If you have just been gifted a sub by Dazza, then do be sure to thank him. Holy God. Yeah, but the FFP hole is still a chance. El Gordo now with the five gifted subs. Thank you so much. More presents will come in a minute. Worry not. Uh, let's get out of this match so we can do a Harold Bishop in a second as well. Oh, a beer. Yeah, crack on, big man. All right. 
I might need one in a minute, honestly. I was holding it in. Saving game. Things you love to see. Look at this whole area here that was just blank. Finally. A pa oh, my days. And more presents. Paolo, thank you very much for the five gift. And we're straight into a hype train. Oh, we'll get an ED7. We'll do it all, Mr. Progger. Worry not, my friend. Worry not. Holy shit. What? It's finally happened. Finally. <laughs> finally did it. And Dundalk won on the same day, but we don't care about it. Neutral. Oh, my days. Neutral normie now with the five gifted subs. Oh, the sub notification. Yes. Yeah. I designed the whole thing. Um, oh, my God. Thank you so much, my friend. More presents. There we go. Fucking hell. I'm knackered. I've got to undo a button. Oh, bloody hell. Yeah, Lukacic, he would have got absolutely... Like, the game has wrecked him there in terms of what he deserved from that. Did he actually get a good rating in the end just because of, like, the clean sheet? That's not the right match. He got a 6.8 from the game in the end, which is absolutely massively unfair. His positioning was flawless all game. Um, Christen, honestly, Christensen was dead right to get the 6.6 .6 there. He did nothing in that game for us other than missed chances. What was the score? The score was 1-0 to Chelsea. 1-0 uh, to... 1-0 to... Not 1-0 to Chelsea. I've got PTSD from so many Chelsea losing finals. 1-0 to Treaty United. Octavian Manea scored a perler in the 14th minute. Curled one into the top corner. And we just held on for the rest of the game. Oh, Jesus Christ. Right. Does that change the... Oh, by the way, actually, chat. Um, as a result of us getting to the final, I thought I'd go back in for Velasco. And would you believe it? He'll now talk to us. Weird that, innit? <laughs> £17 million pounds for winning the Champions League. Oh, let's see the goal again. Yeah, fuck it. Let's see the goal again. Uh, can I do it from here? No, I can't. I have to go into the match. No problem at all. Oh, wait. Hang on. We've got to progress the day. Otherwise, it won't let me. Actually, I probably could have done it from there, but it's just... By the way, weird coincidence. This match was the 1,500th match in the save. It, our first Champions League final win was our first... Was our 1,500th match, which is just an incredible coincidence that we'd win the Champions League after our 1500th game. Literally on, directly on it. Uh, we'll have a look on the FFP thing in a second. This was the winning goal. Oh, oh I can pay out the predictions in a minute, can't I? Where were we in? Where was this stadium? What stadium was this in? Was it the Parc de Prance? Yeah, this was the goal. Manea bends it, top corner, 1-0. Beautiful. Absent, save, game's already been saved. Oh, maybe it will or not. So where was this game? Yeah, oh, Stade de France. Oh, I see. Okay, let me get your prediction payout so you lot can all... Uh, how do I do this? Choose prediction outcome. Will Treaty United win? Who is the Champions League, rather? Treaty United, complete prediction. Enjoy your points, friendos. And I suspect there's probably a lot of them. <laughs> Who is the ref? Uh, let's have a look. Let me see. Can we see that? Unknown. You think that referee in the Champions League final, you'd probably know who the ref was. Just, just a thought. I don't know. Oh. Wow. I'm so glad we finally got that off of our back. Right, okay, finances. Still red, of course we are. We're down to four, though, but that'll be fine. Um, we got 17 million from that, so we'll get a load more in a minute because you get the... This. Wait, hang on. Have we just got that and it's still not counted it? Are you joking? Win the Champions League. Oh, was that a goal? Was it? I didn't realise that was a goal. <laughs> Howcroft as well. Board delight, I bet they fucking are. We've signed Velasco, apparently. That's going to be fun. 400k for that. Collective bin bonus for that. This is the next day as well. I don't know what's going on here. Ruskin with the tier two. 16 months. Thank you so much, my friend. I hope you're well. All the medals. Got Look at that. Valve have just got 1.8 million pounds for that. Which, honestly, not bothered by. Should Swanetsky should be dropped by Poland. You know, the goalkeeper that just kept a clean sheet in a Champions League final. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Uh, yeah, so what's going on with the finances? How are we still... We just, hang on. We were minus 17 million on it. We just gained 25 million because it was at 50 something. And now we're somehow still negative FFP. Despite the projections. Jesus Christ. Wait, was it 19 million? We paid in. Oh, Jesus. You're right. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Right. We should be okay in a minute though, I think. The projections are still nonsense, I hope. That would be so bad otherwise. Christensen, to be fair, he was terrible in the final but he did score 12 in 12 and was the literally won the golden boot so fair play that was money well we always give a massive bonus for the uh yeah oh and wow most of our team actually was in the team 
Only one player that wasn't in the final, which was Mazinga, who actually was quite good in that game against us. Burmanet's made it in there with Larson and Diop, but lovely to see Bogdanov got in there. Only Navio, actually. Thighs freeze and Trubovic. Obviously, Valiv and Christie makes total sense. Win Champions League, lose two million quid. Yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, imagine that. Hang on, what happened there? Did Nestle win, def Nestle win defender of the season as well? Hopefully, it will sort itself out. Uh, we won't request a postponement because we can play during the World Cup because we'll be able to get our... Uh... Yeah, the FFP thing is absolutely... Obs I wouldn't care about it if they at least explained the breakdown of where that number is coming from. But they don't. It just says profit and loss. But that can't be true if it was... Oh, just show me the breakdown. If it just showed you the numbers, it'd be fine. Oh my God, Stefan now. Thank you so much for the five gifted. Thank you so much. But more hype. Holy shit. Hang on, who else? Somebody goes for Syria? International goals between them. Fucking hell. Who's got them? Then it's Harold. No, Harold, of course. Yeah, Harold and an ED7 coming up. Right, chat. Harold Bishop Ultra's time first. Then we'll do an ED7 because you've got to vibe out on this one. And a five. And a four. And a three. And a two. And a one. Most of you have just got Harold Bishops anyway. So get them up in the chat. You'll pick it up fairly fast. And let's go. The minute you get up tight, you're dead. <laughs> I try not to lose my temper with myself. Oh, goodness sake and shit and balls. The minute you get uptight, you're dead. It's a truth fact. The truest of truth facts. Right, we're going to parlay that straight into a cheeky little ED7. I'm going to get the man and the myth, the legend up on the screen, though, so we can at least see his beautiful face. No, that's the thing. It doesn't even tell you that insanity. It doesn't even tell you that. It's just uh, whatever time they choose. Let's do it. For Emmett, a man who would have got to witness that, even if he didn't get a chance to play in the game. What a guy. And Emmett, get your Emmett's up, friends. <laughs> oh. It's choking. It's fine. I'm all right. <laughs> Just normal behavior. Absolutely breathtaking. Do a shoey. Did that. <laughs> Tom Scott tries vaping vibes <laughs> here. I'm in treaty. I'm in treaty. I'm in limerick. I need a red jumper for that to really work properly. I guess I may have inhaled. I might well have inhaled. Where's my music gone? Hi, Spotify. There we go. Weird. Holy shit. What do we even look up now? Oh, coefficient, actually. That's a good point. A point that I've just made. <laughs> good point, Matt. Well done, Matt. Thank you, Matt. <laughs> Let's just uh, sort this out. Nep. Nepogdanov is a cool name. I'll have a look at that. And you go. Ah, oh, he's fallen off the bomb. Shame. Oh, well. Move it. He's got chokes on back. Wait, is that a Oh, I've seen that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Your coefficients. Yep. You get sod all for winning the Champions League. We gained 0.5 during that game, I think. It's basically winning a Champions League is the equivalent of getting an extra draw. Because, of course. Oh, dearie me. That's kind of nuts, isn't it? We actually still... Luckily, we managed to keep hold of third spot. Really, the big issue is just trying to make sure we don't drop to fifth. And that's going to be an issue. Although, next year, at least, Germany are losing a better year than we are. So, we're actually going to gain... We'll be okay, hopefully. Anyway, Nastorius, thank you for the follow. Value bump. I don't think it happened straight away, but we'll have a little look. Treaty Fan TV. I don't think I set up my button to do Scotland Fan TV. No, I don't have the button. I don't think I even have the scene anymore. The club coefficient... We're f well, we're not fifth, are we? Because uh, that's the current one. We have gained 35 points this season, though. So where does this put us next year? Second. We're, we're moving up to only Chelsea, basically, are more successful in Europe over the last few years than, than we have been. Which is good news, right? That's pretty impressive from us. I love that Chelsea got 34 points and we got 35. And the only difference was we won the Champions League and they came second. I guess that makes sense. I would say it's 35 the maximum you can get, but of course it, it isn't. Because the maximum would actually be quite a lot higher than that. If you were to start in the lowest qualifying round and win the Champions League, you'd probably get like 50 points or something. Like, 
obviously completely impossible, but that's not too bad. Look how high Benfica are up on this chart, given the seasons they've had lately. Dundorka, are they climbing though? Yes, they are actually. They're climbing up massively. They're climbing up hugely. I was thinking to myself, considering that their performance... Actually, how are the other Irish sides doing? Um, I just want to see if they're gaining ground or losing ground. Because Shamrock, unfortunately, are going to drop points. Dundalk gain, which is excellent. Bows are going to lose some. Sligo are going to gain some, which is good. Look at the base amount they get as well. Twazak with the 28 months. Bop, bad du bado PBA du bop, bad du bado PBA du bop, bad du bado PBA du, oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, so, Mikey, why exactly did you gr did you voice uh, sorry video call the group chat earlier? Did you just press the wrong button? Because I've done that before. Nearly. Uh, I've like my fingers like slipped. And I've been managing to call like cancel it before it actually goes through. <gasps> worldwide rep chat. It's happened. We've instantly got worldwide rep. Winning the champion. Turns out all you had to do to get worldwide rep was to win the Champions League. Who to thunk it? Eh? Who the bastard thunk it? Ah, oh, we've gone from like four star to five star in the space of one season. The question is, do we get a value bump? No. No, we don't. <laughs> it might take over. It might happen after the the switchover period potentially, but there is no current value bump anyway. Like, it it should if it's it better fucking happen. It usually happens at the jump bit. You know when you get the the leaderboards page. That's usually when you know that you've got the value bump. Oh, finally reached the Sentinelese wimps. Damn straight. Sponsorship's going to be ridiculously low. Yeah, oh, of course it is. Look at our sponsorship. Uh, bear in mind, worldwide reputation now. This is our sponsorship. The highest paid sponsorship is our kit, and it's 200 a year. We did. We did win, DFB fan. 1 0. The sponsorship in this game is so broken, it's actually infuriating. But what can you do? Oh, staff numbers up. Right. Wait, we're getting more? Whoa, hang on a minute. They just gave me five scouts. We have to. Oh, technically, they've given me three. We just haven't. That's good news. Damn straight. And some more physio. They've really gone hard on the physios there. Okay, well, we can get some more scouts at least. That'd be kind of sick. Rukavina's progress there. Nice, 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 nice. Holy shit. I think we just have to... Maybe we progress a few days. We'll see something if anything happens there. Um, oh, look at that. All those illustrious names. And PSG. Um, and then Treaty United on there as well. We, To be fair, we, I am literally the kit sponsor at the moment. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks to uh, Nine Ain's wonderfulness of Nordic Nomads 2. <laughs> Ice to meet you. <laughs> Bring back Vicente. Where is old Vicente? Maybe we can. I can see that this is not going to change anytime soon. Uh... I can't wait for players to still turn us down because they don't think we're good enough despite having just won the Champions League. That That's going to be a real fun window when that starts to happen. We have to be so careful across the summer window as well just to make sure that we actually stay in the FFP zone, which we're now still failing again. It's, it's gone up to six again. How is this? That keeps dropping. It's because of this, isn't it? This is. I think it'll be fine because this is not ever going to be as low as that. As long as it's... But the thing is... I don't know if it uses the projections to decide the FFP and not the actual in and out. That's the issue. Look, we're currently 90 million above it. I think it might just be broken. Like, I think we're going to be okay. But I don't know. The, the reason I'm concerned is just because I've never had it project us to fail FFP before. And it's weird that it would now start doing it, even though our finances are kind of different. Yeah, it has to use actual. But do we know what date the FFP thing is? We're not going to suddenly lose 90 million quid in the next month and a half, surely, right? Or are we? <laughs> I hope we're not. That would be really, really bad. Uh, okay. We've got a game here, uh, which we're not going to play you two on. We'll uh, give Andre Strotter. Our debt transfer debt is not as much as that. It's about 20 million. So it's quite a lot, but it's nowhere near as much as that. Uh, I'll show you. June 30th. Yeah, we should get to that. Uh, let's see. Transfer debt, I think it's about 28 million. Oh. No, our transfer debt is we're owed £3 million. How is that possible? I swear I have claw... What? Of the season. Yeah, but which season, Jizzy? Because remember, we're a summer league. 
So which season? Is it the European season? Is it our summer league season? That's what I'm trying to ascertain at this point. Um, that's... We... Hang on, no, that means... We... Does that mean that we, we owe three million pounds, right? Or does that mean someone else owes us? I swear this is someone in white. Doesn't that imply that we are owed three million pounds? Normally that's in white. Unless I'm just not paying much attention. We're owed three million pounds. So where the hell is all the clauses for the likes of Saki and uh, Turbo Civic gone? Should say on the FFP page. Ah. Uh... End of 2046 season. But which season? Our season? The European season? Whose season? It... I just, why doesn't this page oh, just this tell you stuff? <laughs> Exorcist, thank you for the follow. There's so that's our season. But why would FFP? But how can you? But but is it? I don't think it is. I, I just don't know. Because how could you get banned midway through a season? Um. Because it isn't the whole point of FFP that it does it at the end of every financial year for the European sides, and so it'd be weird if you failed it in the middle of the season for everyone else. Domestic season, right? I still think we're fine. First Champions League qualification? Uh, how do you mean? Yeah, we'll be fine. You're right, it would say that, wouldn't, wouldn't it, Paolo? Good point, actually. Um, yeah. I think we're... Either way, we're currently 90 million above, and it's just the projections that are buggered. Because the projections don't take into account transfer revenue and prize money, obviously. Um, if you earn money from Champions League, projected goes... FFP. Yeah, you'd think that, wouldn't you, Exorcist? But unfortunately, we just won the Champions League and it dropped. <laughs> I know that we obviously had the bonuses, but every round we've gone through so far, it's come back up and then immediately dropped again. Weird. Yeah, it has to be because it's 46. It says 2046 and not 2045-46. That would make sense. Where do we finish coefficient? Uh, third. We're still third. Oh, so it is domestic season. Okay. It's not... Either way, we're not going to suddenly lose 90 million pounds, even if it's projecting that we will, because it's not factoring in any kind of revenue. And we'll get another 15 million there. I don't know when 90 million pounds is suddenly going to disappear from at this point, would be my guess, right? It just, there's no way that money's just going to disappear from us. We usually operate at around about 150. Speaking of which, now that we're worldwide rep, we have to be careful that we don't spend too much because we could drop back into uh, secure again. And all, admittedly, the board didn't do anything silly while we were secure, but I don't want to take the risk, you know? We still got to be so careful. We need to drum up an extra bit of cash. Ooh, Juliet, yes, because our rep's gone up. I mean, what do you have to do then to sign a player? We've got worldwide reputation. One of the most highly reputable clubs in the world. Is he just signing a new deal? Please don't tell me he's retiring. He's not retiring. His contract expires in less than a month. He's not wanted by anybody. He's... He does want to be a coach, but he's not retiring. His... Oh, it might just be that because he wants to... But I can't even offer him a staff contract. Which is what's annoying. Hmm. I'm, I still think he could play. He's easily good enough to play. Maybe when he's actually free. The problem is when he's actually free, he will uh, just immediately become a staff member, I suspect. That's the issue. He doesn't really have a contract. But we'll uh, we'll keep going. Let me try... Remove him as a transfer target and then retry this. Didn't work before, but you never know, right? See if we get Thomas Tuchel to handle it for me. <laughs> right, I need a P. So... Continue with your dog-related punch, Chateau. I saw you towards the end of that match. Carry on. Proceed.
Hey, chat, do you remember many moons ago, Pog said, Hey, Matt, would you like a beer? I am still, chat, sans beer. What is this? Marley and me. <laughs> That's really good. <laughs> Antoine Pedigrees, man? Poor Russia, much. There we go. There's always a glad back in there. You've got to have a glad back in there. It's not official otherwise. Oh, dear. Probably only going to go to two today, chat, just because of the uh, the situation with the fact that it was a Champions League final. And we're just playing summer games at the moment. And I'm sure people have got football that needs to be watched as well. But still, we've got some more league games to go through for a little bit and try to figure out this financial issue. Maybe find some more players. So you can't have more than 4.9 million losses in the course of a 36 months. We saw like, yeah, so the issue is Exorcist. It's the fact that the game doesn't show you the breakdown of where that money is going in and out. It doesn't actually like, if it just had like a, if on the FFP page, it actually showed you the money in and out and you could see on like a chart where that money was coming in and out from, you'd be able to make much better plans about how to stay within the FFP. But it's a complete black box at the moment. You're right, it is still full match, isn't it? <laughs> every single time we do that every single time. I forgot to set my lineup again. So what I'm saying is, Jesus, if you could bang a Hattie, that would be lovely because I've still got the bastard captain. Aren't Ars Who are Arsenal playing today? Is it as, as, is it as few as seven? I thought it was more. Yad Collar. Yeah, exactly, Sarcastic. But it's really dumb that you can't see that information. Like the game's working it out. Just show you, show me the information. Bournemouth away. Oh, fair one. Up the Arsenal. Mm. It, it can't. But my point is that why does it use projections at all? Like, it can't. But the thing is, it can't. It doesn't even predict things like prize money, um, which obviously is, would make sense. But, like, if you've had a relatively. It should just take, like, average prize money over the last few years of the projections or something. Otherwise, it's not projecting anything, is it? <laughs> it's just not projecting a single thing. Did we play the UCL? Yes, we did, Gova. We uh, just finished the UCL final. And we did win, by the way. Yes, we won 1-0. We won the Champions League for the first time in the save. Uh, we've now got worldwide rep. Juliet still won't talk to us. It's a happy day. <laughs> but yes, we have finally gone and won one. They're useless. I know, but my point is that it's the fact that the game shows you... it gets Everything goes red because it's using projections for some reason. But the projections don't project anything. <laughs> All the projections do is project how much money you're going to lose because it doesn't take into account most firms of income. I think the only income it actually takes into account is things like sponsorships that you already have and TV money, which of course there is none. Emmett Labradoran. Great work. Yeah, I was expecting Spurs to be a couple of goals up by now, but apparently not. Because Biggie, has Bilby already got 10 goals? Didn't Wolves beat Spurs last season as well? Or was it 1-0? I can never remember. Spurs had that really weird... Oh, no, it was because they had... Um, fucking the former Wolves manager. It was 1-0, wasn't it? You read. Numbers on a dartboard. Basically, oh, they're not bold of you to assume that there's numbers involved. It's just a random... There's probably letters in there that we're just not seeing. I'm <laughs> glad it was exciting so well. Uh, yeah, we won 1-0. Finances of the game. Yeah, but it won't. Because that stuff only matters to people that play the game. And I don't feel like the game is marketed anymore to people who play the game. <laughs> it's now marketed to the person that wants to do two season saves with Manchester City. That seems to be how it's progressing. And maybe I'll be wrong this year. Maybe they'll move back to... Maybe it's just because COVID had to concentrate on some slightly more easy to activate some stuff. Maybe this year it'll be a massive change in the correct direction. You never know. But I'm not holding my breath. Actually, no, that's not true. I am going to be positive about it because I want it to be awesome, you know? I love this game and I think the creators done a great job over the years and I want it to be awesome, you know? Double safety key. New sponsorship. So actually, weirdly, the board did invest a lot of random money into the club at one point. Oh, but when it was first, when it first went into the red, it said like we got like 20 million dumped in out of nowhere. Made no difference because it was only a projection as well, but it was very odd. Go ahead, Beagles. That's solid. Love that. Huge fan of that particular pun. What are the fixtures today, actually? I know Fulham are obviously playing Brentford. That's the only game I really care about. But um, so it's Arsenal-Bournemouth. To me, I mean, Arsenal should be winning that. And I would obviously like to see Arsenal win that. Um, hopefully, if Jesus scores a hat-trick, that'd be lovely. Thank you in advance, Jesus. Um, obviously, Spurs-Wolves. Palace-Villa. Oh, that'd be a tough one, actually. I feel like Palace... Palace, I like... I really do like Palace. I know they lost to Arsenal and got bodied in places. But I really do like Palace a lot. Not just because my mum's a Palace fan. 
Scooby Doo deck. <laughs> yes, we did, Beth. We did. Everton Forest. Ah, wow. Um, that is a very interesting game. I'd like a nice nil-nil draw, please. <laughs> Relegation rivals, you see. The pochest of derbies. Oh, the cheese bordery. Think of it. I'm excited for Fulham Brentford. Last time we, literally the last time we played Brentford was the playoff final, if I recall. So, if Joe Bryan fancies banging a free kick from 30 yards, and I can play that sound clip again, then that'd be just ace. Jordan Rhodesian Richback <laughs> leads Chelsea. Ah, oh, Chelsea. Um, I mean, Chelsea were unlucky not to beat Spurs. Um, I don't know. I mean, Leeds have surprised me honestly. Is Neslo broken? Uh, is he? He actually was looking a bit tired. I might get him off, actually. She probably shouldn't start here. Seven already. Good lord. I just like Palace's team. I think it might be the case. I, honestly, Jinx, I would love it if Joey went back to Bristol City. Even if it's just alone. I just want my boy JB to be happy, you know? He's just, he's just such a dude. Getting beat by Liverpool on Monday night. Uh, who's playing Liverpool on Monday? Oh, <laughs> literally, when I watched the um, Brentford game last weekend, or whatever, I was sat there thinking to myself, "Do you reckon all the teams are sat there going, Mom, when's it our turn on the Man United?" <laughs> I kind of wish we were playing them sooner. Oh, Mara Borzwa, Borzoi, they're cute. They are good doggos. I do do be like, is it Borzwa or Borzoi? Either way, cuties, very long faces, love them. <gasps> Discover dogs chat gets ever closer. Espanol. Good work. Or Espanol. Nicole Dax Gord. Dax Gord. Yeah, I hate, I hate arbitrary. I'm one of those people that craves explanations. If something's happening, I want to know why. You know, simple as that. Like when it comes to things happening in the game, I hate this kind of black box idea. But as it started happening a lot more with transfers now, where it's like, players will just say really vague shite and you have no idea why you can't sign them. And I know their arguments like, well, it's realistic. Yeah, I know. I realize that. But when we're trying to play a game here, it's like, it'd be nice if there was some idea of how you could actually do well at something. I don't like defined uh, um, blurry borders, you know? It'd be like if um, you're playing a game of Rocket League and you score a goal and it just says no goal. And you're like, why not? And then the game says, just didn't feel like it particularly. Um, here's what you could do better. But then it gives you no, like, I hate that kind of stuff in games. It makes them not very fun because after all, Games are supposed to be fun. It's not football simulator. It's football manager. <laughs> if it was football simulator, they'd have a lot of work to do. But that's just my view on that kind of thing. It's just, it irks me, chat. Would you have noticed that over the last 10 months of me constantly complaining about it? But I, I always like to try to temper that by saying that there is a lot of things I have liked about this year's game. The data hub is an absolute revelation. Um, I think the match engine looks and animates a lot better than it did before and is a genuine massive step in the right direction. It's way less patterny full. There are still some patterns in it, but I've noticed way less than I did last year. You could read every fucking play last year, basically. This year, there's still it still surprises me, which is nice. We did, Quinn. We won 1-0 thanks to that Manea banger. When are we playing menu? Oh, God. What's this? Jesus. I just stumbled into doing politics on stream. Never again. How dare you? <laughs> I think I am going to start doing the trivia thing for the intros. Although if you have a football trivia for us, chat, drop one in now. I do like a bit of football trivia on a Saturday afternoon. It's where you need Dan around for these things. As Andres Trotter misses the target entirely. A Shamrock Rover's getting an extension, by the way. It looks like they're expanding their ground. Either that or that's been there since the very start of the save. I honestly can't remember. But it does feel like they're finally expanding. I'll have to have a look after the match. That'd be good news, though. <gasps> uh, Bray got a point. They finally got a point on the board. Well, good for you, lads. Well played. It's about blasted time. Drift Sergeant is the greatest stroke of all time. Hey, scored a brace last night against Millwall, didn't he? I was amazed by that. When, it's, when I saw that Josh Sargent had scored, because I had the championship notification still turned on, I was like, wow. And then I scrolled down and he scored twice. I was like, wow. Wow. Right. So it's the Tala Stadium. Can we see if it's on facilities, isn't it? It will say if it's expanding. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't say that for other clubs. But it, they had a whole side of the stadium that was like, looked like a building site. Unless that's just what it's like. 
<laughs> Maybe that's just what their stadium looks like. Oh, dear. In the championship. Ah. But can he do it in the Premier League, Chazzo? <laughs> but no, because he scored that ridiculous goal against Watford. Ergo, he's the greatest player of all time. This is what we've learned. How many finals still treating us a second Champions League? Do you know what? I wouldn't be surprised if we went and won it again next year. Just, you know, like buses and whatnot. We're still only two points clear at the top. Oh, great. That's not good. Bilby gets a couple of goals there. Nice. 50. <laughs> 50 finals. Imagine how much bad luck you need to lose 50 finals. <laughs> yeah, it's weird. Maybe that's just what their stadium looks like. Relegate for the Premier League and the Championship. Easy. Sunderland. Right? Has to be. Sunderland were double relegated. I remember Wolves being in the... It's weird to think of Wolves being in League One. I remember them playing Shrewsbury. What? The season that Wolves got promoted out of League One was the season that Shrewsbury also did really well, wasn't it? Oh. Look at SYD Champions League. Have they hit the post enough? Did they? Yeah, Sunderland did. Sunderland had back-to-back -back relegations because uh, it was it was uh, Sunderland till I die. I'm certain it was. Sunderland definitely had back-to-back -back relegations. Did Norwich get double? It happens more than you'd think. Right? I'm certain that Sunderland, when they got relegated, were double relegated, right? Portsmouth probably happened as well, didn't they? Because they probably would have got points deductions on top. Or did they? Yeah, I think it happens quite a lot. I think it's often clubs that have... It usually seems to happen to clubs that don't expect to get relegated in the first place. And as a result, they are leveraged to the hilt with terrible contracts. The oh, yeah, I remember the Norwich double promotion. Older than the Prem, yeah. <laughs> if you mark a speller, it was just yesterday that that happened, even though it was like 30 years ago. <laughs> South when was South End in the Prem? That must have been a long time ago, right? Well, not the Prem, but like there must have been the top flight, I guess. Then. I didn't know they were ever in the top flight. My burner Twitter account. Oh, God, what's this? Let me get this straight. So eating cheese off a board is classy and $17, but when I eat it directly from the fridge at 3am, that makes me a gremlin. Indeed! I literally... This is... <laughs> This happens a little too often. Last night, sat in bed, eating some cheese, not just cheese, some nice crusty white loaf, watching Nashville at two in the morning. I was having a lovely time. I need to sleep more. That is that is what I need to do, especially on Friday nights. Yeah, it's happened. What do you reckon it's happened more? Double promotion or double? It feels way easier to get double relegated than it does to have double promotion, I would say. Paolo now with the gift is up to Bevloy. Thank you very much, my friend. Thank you all as well. Just thank you to all. What is sleep? Oh, speaking of sleep. So you all know Tosso. Uh He's notorious for not sleeping very much. Um, so when was this? This was Thursday night. We were in group chat as always. And he was talking about how he'd just woke up. Bear in mind, it was 10 o'clock at night at this point. He'd got home from work and fallen asleep, apparently. And then woken up at like 10 o'clock at night. And we were like, okay, but this makes sense because you... Oh, wow. Bevloy with the gifted sub to hats was taken. It's just a lovely little circle of subbery. You'd love to see it. Thank you. And... um. Yeah, so they were like, oh, it's probably because you go to bed at 5 a.m. and then wake up at 8 a.m. for work. That's probably why you're falling asleep so much. And then he was like, oh, I'm sure it's not doing any permanent damage. And I'm thinking to myself, mate, you sleep so rarely that I'm surprised you don't have dementia by now. It's legit. Like, you are struggling. And then he started going on about bleeding the brakes on his car. And my other mate just comes in with, he was like, how do I do that? And he's like, step one, go to bed. <laughs> just absolutely did me. Some say he still hasn't gone to bed. I'd have to check in. Oh, dear. Uh, th 38 million. Why would it end up being 38 million when the minimum value of him is 46 million? I ask you. Also. No! Juliet! Sleep is very good for you. I do love me some sleep. I read that book by Matthew Walker and it changed my views on sleep. Okay, not completely changed them. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been at. Again, eating cheese at bed, watching Nashville at 2 o'clock this morning. But majority of the time, I get a decent amount of sleep and I do feel very, very good. It's uh, no sleep, no, more sleep, let, no caffeine. It has made me a lot more perky over the last sort of eight, nine months. It's certainly helped a lot. Uh, right. Yeah, we'll do a bit of that. Well, it looks like we're not overrated. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Woke it up, have you? <laughs> did you ever bleed the brakes in your car or did you mistake it for your uh, neighbor's car? Why did he try to buy him when he's literally... It is weird that it doesn't say he's retiring there. Oh, does it on his, is it on his uh, thing here? Ah, there we go. Yeah, so he is retiring. We might be able to get him as a scout. So we, we just have to get him in as a scout. Or whatever the hell he wants to be. What is it he wants to be? 
I've forgotten. Uh, oh god. <laughs> a coach it is. <laughs> You're gonna be a coach. You're somehow worse than Emmett. Should... Huh? Man who's made 27 appearances this season wants to start more games. We've only played like half the season. You just played in the Champions League final, Stefan. Are you actually shitting me? I rested you for the last game because you just played in the Champions League final the, like three days prior to that. Mental. Uh, we won. FM player 1 0. Let's send Alaku around for one of his last actions, maybe, to sort this out. Oh, good. That's something else I'd like to see fixed next year. Really? Are you Fucking hell, man. That, that, that has to be fixed for next year. The players have to know that certain games are more important than others. And that maybe me resting you against a non-league side in the cup so that you can play in a Champions League knockout game is a little bit more important. One for up. Fair play. Good for you, my friend. Uh, we beat Chelsea. Finally. Ah, yes, you do see that one sometimes. Uh, we've had that a few times. It was it was some random one. One of the players, it was a Brazilian guy I signed that had that promise. It might have even been Paolo Vinicius, actually. I think I signed him with that promise after, like... I think, yeah, I think Paolo Vinicius' initial contract when he joined us from Corinthians or whatever was... would become a regular starter once Emmett Doran leaves the club. Now, bear in mind, Emmett lasted longer at the club than Paolo did. <laughs> but uh, still, how's the finances looking? Ah, good. We're minus 10 million now. What the fuck? Also, I love it. Minus 10 million. We've gone up to 110 million on the current, but it's somehow projected that we're going to lose even more money. Now. The other worst thing about it, I wouldn't even care if you were allowed to say to the player, I'm going to rest you. The half the time when I tried that before, the player would then get mad at me for trying to rest them if I told them I was going to do it as well. You could not win. That's why the star player thing is completely broken in our league or any league that has fixtures in it. <laughs> It does seem like a lot of players are becoming hoids, though. You're right. Like, as a disproportionate amount, as you say. I, I think what it is, is that a lot of the new features... Who? Oh, apparently we're getting fizzier. I think a lot of the features... They, they have neglected the initial stuff, but the new features, sometimes they break things in the background that are a little bit unseen because it's only minor things that affect the quality of life of the game. But if that's not fixed, it can cause serious problems. And I get the feeling that they're working. They could end up getting themselves into a real problem where they bring in so much new stuff that nobody cares about that breaks all the stuff that people do care about. And that could be a real problem. Hopefully not at the moment. Oh, totally. Well, not totally off topic. Like somewhat very much on topic, actually. You know how over the last couple of years, regularly someone will come in and be like, hey, have you got a discount code for the game or something? Like I can get like or something. And I always have to say, nope, I've tried this sort of stuff before and no one's ever wanted to work with me. So I might actually with FM23, be working with a retailer uh, to have finally get a discount code for people. So that would be quite nice. Um, finally. So hopefully I'll actually be able to sort that out at some point. It looks good for the moment. Is it decent? <laughs> Do you know it's not? My dad would never allow it. <laughs> my dad would just not allow it to have me like, what are you doing, bruv? Right, who can I even put it? Let's put my, my manny in. Is it Viking? Yeah, it's Viking. Viking. It's Viking in that sussy vape shop he went for an interview at that one time. Oh, it's, it's HMV. I went in an HMV the other day. I was surprised that they still had, like, stuff in it, honestly. Was absolutely mesmerized by it. I didn't realize it was still a thing. Hey, Captain Ginger. You have missed the final, yes, but we did win. So that's all good. H it does still exist. There's one at Lakeside. Pog and I went in there uh, la two weeks ago. Sod all in there. It's mostly just, like, weird... It's got mostly just like box sets. This is CEX. <laughs> By the can of the owner. I'll have you know, I have a whole shelf full of them. The reason there's a whole shelf is because I don't use them. <laughs> Staring into the stereotypes there. Uh, well, Valor's going to have to start now because, of course, he doesn't understand how his fitness levels work. We're just going to accept that, I guess. Oh, Lakeside. Yeah, it's where we built all the, uh, where all the lake houses went. It's a dump, mate. We got there and we're just like... After about half an hour of walking around, realised that there was absolutely no reason why we needed to drive all the way to near London for this. I, I, it's like, why am I in Thurrock? Like, I didn't need to be in Thurrock this time of the day. Like, seeing a double rainbow? Yeah, it literally is. Like, posters, t-shirts, pop shots. Pop shots? Like, pop, uh, 
Yeah, that kind of stuff. Some anime stuff in there too. Um, plushies. Lots of, well, I say lots of, a decent amount of like DVD box sets. Very little music actually uh, in there. But then, you know, who's buying CDs? It's just Spotify, isn't it, mate? No need for it. Yeah, I think we should have gone to Blue Water. It's just I couldn't be asked to go across the top. I couldn't be asked to go to Dartford. <laughs> I was just like, I can't be asked to pay Dart Charge. So we just thought, fuck it. Dart Charge just sounds like another of Darcher's alts. A full body plushie. I'll see what I can do. Anime Tat and Funko Pops. Yep, that's what HMV actually stands for. Did you know that? I think were I looking for furniture, the IKEA bit would have been good. Uh, it's genuinely the closest Ikea to me. There's no fucking Ikeas around here at all. Spotify premium gift cards. <laughs> they do feel like they're going the way of Blockbuster somewhat with that. In the going out of business. Not that you'd ever like to see a business go out of business. But at the same time, you've got to adapt, right? MK fairly close. Uh, MK is about an hour and a half from me. I would say. The, I think the closest one technically is in Enfield. Or it used to be. The last time I went to an Ikea was the one in Southampton. And I bought this giant fucking mirror. <laughs> That's the only thing I've ever bought in Ikea. Was a giant mirror. So I can see myself looking all pretty full. Someone. I didn't say the wrong time. <laughs> have any, uh, any of the Wolves players got particularly long hair that someone could grab, maybe? I don't know. Got to find an advantage where you can, right? I wonder where that Pog's got to. She's just completely disasperated. Out of existence. Be like, Pog who? Never heard of her, mate. I'm genuinely exhausted from that Champions League final. Brewing the beer. <laughs> She's... <laughs> She's planting the the, uh, the the beer juice seeds now. <laughs> you can tell I don't work in a brewery, can't you? They are pretty close, but it's literally just the other side of the Dartford Bridge, isn't it, really? Growing the hops, that's the one. Saw a dog on got distracted. It's more likely that, isn't it? Close the street terminal. Bear in mind, when I say street, it's it's like a cul-de-sac with like fucking no through traffic anyway. There's no like no one would be going up the street unless they were going to a house that's up the top of the street, and there's very few No, it's not Brewdog. I don't really like Brewdog. Um it's uh Goose Island, I think is what I've got in the fridge. But yeah, I don't know what's going on with that, Asher. Um but and obviously I wouldn't want to speculate on it being other people. I'm sure I'll find out later. Brew pog. <laughs> My beer is in research. Be my my beer is in research and development. But I've heard there's a cost cap on my beer this year. No, how will I get that extra tenth of a second on the? <laughs> that is not a beer opening noise. That's the noise I make when my beer explodes and I have to like stick it in my face immediately. We've all been there. Oh, nice header. World's okayest lager. Damn straight. I wonder what the world's okayest lager. Honestly, Corona probably is the world's okayest lager. If there's a lager, yeah. We did Uzi. We did win the Champions League. Lakeside is north side of Dartford. Uh, I don't know um, because I come at it from the M11 way when I go to Dartford. So, like, I come up the M11 and then on the M25 going whatever anti-clockwise or whatever towards Dartford. And then you, to go to Lakeside, I get off at East, the Thurrock one. It's like the last junction before Lakeside. And then in order to get to Blue Water from me, I have to go across the Dartford Bridge. So then Dart Charge and whatnot like that. We won the final, Charlie. We won 1 0. Manea scored an absolute beaut. Blue Water South. There you go. But to me, North and South mean absolutely sod all when I'm coming at it from the side. <laughs> Feedy. Oh, shit. That's the equalizer. You've got to get a bit of Chateau Neuf to flaps. Yep. <laughs> He's broken his wine chat. <laughs> oh, God. That Chateau Neuf to flaps clip is going to have pride of place at the end of season wrap up. North and South, uh, the Thames. Okay, that makes sense too, I guess. Yeah. I still don't even really think about it like that, though. I love how you know the quote number. Classy, classy bottleneck. <laughs> I could be a smelly, eh? Or whatever it is those wine people are called. The big winers. I don't think it's supposed to be pronounced smelly, eh? But <laughs> I feel like it's funnier to say it like that. It's I'm sure you could piss off a real high-class sommelier by calling it a smellier, but I just, I don't know, it's just mispronouncing things deliberately as part of my brand, right? Is he the Leeds goalkeeper? <laughs> oh. 
But yeah, so Somalians are surprisingly good at identifying wines. Go Irish team. Ah, sadly not. Otherwise, they would have won a title in this save. Actually, I think they did win one early on. They have won a conference league in this save, though, so there is that. They're the only Irish side in the save other than us that's won anything. Oh, it's nice that we now get to answer the question of have you won a Champions League yet with yes. Yes, we have. Finally. Impact the coefficients. Soddle. Uh, you basically get nothing for winning it. You get the equivalent of a draw. <laughs> so it made no difference. We were already locked into being third again anyway, but it has just given us a little tiny buffer. This might be in, you know. It's a good chance for Turbovich. It might be slightly too... The keeper's in a good position. Yeah. League rep have gone up. Uh, we don't know because it doesn't tell you yet. So you won't find out if the league rep's gone up until the crossover point, basically. We, we, have, four, we have five star worldwide rep. Well, off second. Oh, like 12 points. We're miles off second. We did gain on Spain this year, but it's going to be a while yet. Plus, the problem is because it's now going to be seven teams in Europe next season, we've got the issue of they're not ready. Some of them aren't ready yet for playing in the Champions League. So it's going to take them a few years of getting all that extra money in, getting the league rep right up so they can actually start. The problem is the other Irish sides don't sign players outside of the UK. The only time teams they buy players from are English sides, Scottish sides, and Irish sides. And I know it's because the leagues are switched on, but with Tromsø, the Norwegian sides were buying players from all over the place. So I do wonder what's going on with that. It might just be that they're suffering from the same problem we are when it comes to bringing in players, that they just won't join them because reasons. And that honestly could be the death of the save in a way because of stuff like that as Christensen misses the target again. <laughs> Imagine. Like Dundalk are doing brilliantly. Yeah, the only way the only way they get players from other sides like that is from their affiliate sides. Uh, like one of them's got, I think Betis is an affiliate. One of them has, I think, Jurteborg. But other than that, they just don't sign players from continental Europe or abroad. They only sign players from the UK, and it's and they tend to even only sign Irish players from the UK. So it's yeah, a problem. <laughs> and I don't know what we can. The only thing I can hope that will change that is if we our success will bump the league rep. We're going to have four sides in the Champions League. Just having four sides in the Champions League groups will both boost their rep next year as well. So maybe together, that will allow the league rep to start catching up a little bit. Because if we're still seventh in league rep next season, I'll be very annoyed. Considering we've been, this would, that would be the second consecutive season that we'd have been third in coefficients. So how could we still be seventh? We, are we getting less than that? It does feel like it. So to give you an idea, once we got four and a half star rep for making the final, I went back in for that guy from Atletico that said he didn't want to join us and he immediately agreed a contract. So something is definitely working there. And now that we're five star rep, you never know. Uh, a stadium is 23,000... No, 20,380 20, something, I think. We did, have, we did have the luck of the Irish pass, bro. We finally got some luck there. Reality! Thank you so much for the follow. Feels like reality's been following me for a while. It's not always a good reality, but sometimes you just need a reality check. Ronaldo doing watching Wolf Spurs. Which one? Which Ronaldo? R9 or CR7? Because either way, that'd be a bit strange. We've underperformed a little bit here. Come on, lads. Did Christensen finally score a goal? No. R9? Oh, wow. Uh, I don't know. Maybe he's got like hospitality at the real one. <laughs> Treaty is just too big for us. Yep. Damn straight. We were a bit fortunate, I'd say, in places, but Swanetsky did a good jobby. So the AIU scouting packages, I don't know. I think that AI scouting and transfer... Oh, God. If there was one thing that they brought into FM23, other than anything, other than just fixing bugs, would be in a complete overhaul of the way that AI teams scout and recruit players so that they actually, you know, do it. That would be incredible. Just a little bit of that. What do you reckon would happen if... Oh, no, the problem is... What I was going to say is if you took over the AI clubs and then quickly added a manager... Ch oh, dear. Change the scouting range and then quit. The problem is then all their managers would be gone in order for you to do that. So that would obviously not be a viable option. But, yeah, it is what it is. The, the mononymous one. I love that word. Mononymous. Do, 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 do. Rotund Ronaldo. I prefer to think of him as one of the greatest strikers. You know, I'm going to put some respect on that man's name. Tech director stuff, yeah. It's... But I just want AI clubs to make... Not even just realistic transfers, but just... They only ever sign high profile for the most part. They do the same exact shit where you have a player that does like a little bit okay for a little while. It's always the same clubs. They sign them, they never play them. And I know there's a little bit of that in real life, but it's not as bad as it is in FM. It's just so linear. It feels like a lot of AI transfers in FM are so on rails that it becomes very predictable and not very fun. It would just be nice if clubs just had a little bit more clout. And that players would maybe choose to move to a slightly less fancied side to begin with because they think they're going to get more football. That would be kind of sick. So, like, players 
that are really good high potential players that maybe choose to turn down someone like Real Madrid and go to someone like a Dortmund or even lower than that actually like Red Bull Salzburg to sort of develop a little bit more it'd be cool because it's sort of there's a pattern of that and evidence in real life and I think it'd be cool to see that players taking more like baby steps in their careers rather than going straight from 16 year old wonder kid regen at Palmeiras to I'm in the PSG team immediately it would be nice if there was a little bit more of a, a graduation to that rather than being straight there Football is going dad bod. Oh, I've been working on that for a while. I'm not even a father. Yeah, like Ukraine, Brazil. And I know that some of that actually is programmed into the game. It just feels like it doesn't have as much of an effect. Pen and Monica. Yep, they just go by rep as well. And I just feel like surely there's a way of just putting some time into making that system way more enjoyable. Plus, it would make saves so much more varied if clubs just had slightly different transfer strategies as well. Because you can always bet on the same clubs making the same signings most of the time. Especially when it's real players as well. And it's just a little bit dull, I guess. It feels like less and less now does FM throw up interesting scenarios. More and more often, the same things happen over and over again. Like, the cool stuff we've seen in Scotland in this save is actually kind of interesting. So rare in FM does that stuff happen anymore. In England, I did a load of... I think I did a simulation of, like, several different simulations of 100 years. Sorry, 50 years. Just see what happened to find different scenarios within that with just the English leagues turned on, like all the way down quite a lot. And just nothing happened. I, 50 years into the save, it was the same 20 sides basically in the Premier League or the same like 25 teams. Nothing had changed. No one had come up from like the lower leagues to do anything sensible. Nothing. Just, I just want a little bit more interesting stuff for long-term saves. But I know that people don't play them that much and that's not the, that's not the audience they're interested in anymore. So I think we're going to see less and less stuff in the future that is going to have an impact on long-term saves. And that kind of sucks. It's all going to be, what can we do to make a one-season experience better rather than what can we do for people that actually want to play the game? Not that there's, you know, one season is still fine, but it tends to happen a lot. low pump targets now being bought by other German sides that aren't me or buy. Okay, fair enough. It's because I'm not used to playing in those leagues, honestly. Tri Numbers at, uh, hang on, let's trial method work again. Change managers, everyone else would get better managers. Nah, they probably wouldn't though, I don't speak. They probably wouldn't. They probably... That's another thing. They haven't hired good managers either. Yeah, I mean, most of us, but we're not the target audience anymore. It feels like we've switched. We're no longer what they're actually looking for in a player base. We are the anomalies to that, I suspect. Yeah, no. Even as much as like three or four years ago, um, like literally, FM18, I could do a sim, like a 20-year sim, and every single time I would do that, there'd be some mad shit going on. You'd see like Arsenal getting relegated or something would happen to them because things happened. Or you'd see, like, Dorking Wanderers in the Championship, for example. I did a 20 year sim on 2018, and Dorking Wanderers were in the Championship. Just shit like that. Just really, really cool stuff that just doesn't seem to happen anymore. We did a professional league with professional players. <laughs> well, like eSports. <laughs> Change the meta, damn it, or something. Yeah, Chelsea's AI just buying striker after striker is always fun. Not that that's unusual. Uh, mods. Um, so, Sketch, what mod are you specifically looking at? We don't have one for mods because, yeah, there's so much stuff. Uh, lots of people unhappy with that. Offers for Ali. Uh, no. Although he is wanted by some massive sides. So, he would be a player I'd be very tempted to make a big deal for. If we can do, anyway. Hope Not until we get the bump in player value, which I'm hoping we're going to get. I'd be very annoyed if we don't. Bolton going down to the back. Yeah, I remember that. Bolton in the National League North on my Wimbledon save. And that wasn't even that far into the save. Start playing yesterday. Oh, shit. So you're brand new to the game at all? Or are you brand new to FM entirely, Sketch? Or have you played very early? Ver <laughs> have you played earlier versions? There we go. Got it. Like, it's cool to see what's happened in Scotland in this save because it's actually interesting. That's like, there's the fight. That's the top of the league in Scotland at the moment. Dundee United won the league. Admittedly, Dundee actually missed out on second spot, but they've still got Champions League. Uh, Killier in there too with Hearts and Hibs. Celtic came seventh. So it's a bit more interesting at least. We did play the final, yes. We won 1 0. Hell yeah. FM Esports. I wouldn't. There's too much. FM has far too much things that are out of the player's control. In fact, I would say 95% of the things are out of the player's control to the point where I think esports would be tedious because you'd have no idea who's actually good beyond a certain... You would up to a point, but like so much of it's RNG to the point where you're just like, why bother? Oh, see, this is what I mean. Dundalk just... 
I mean, to be fair, they did hire the, the former national team manager of Ireland. It's not the end of the world, but I feel like they're still not hiring the best managers, you know? Coefficient barely changed because you don't really get anything for winning the Champions League. You get the equivalent of a win for winning the match, and then you get a draw for winning the Champions League. So it didn't change anything. Basically, it just moved us a tiny bit further away from France. <laughs> Kev would be an esports legend in FM. <laughs> just smashing it. Imagine FaZe Kev. I can see that. NRG Kev. Imagine that. Just imagine an FM, an actual FM esports scene. Uh, Sonetien won the Conference League and Liverpool won the Europa League over uh, Galatasaray. That's another thing. They couldn't get involved in East. Yeah, they really couldn't actually. Couldn't be sanctioned at all in any way. So there's just so many things that couldn't happen there, really. An FM house. Oh, imagine. Imagine <laughs> what that would be like to live in. Dortmund lost. Uh, yes, they did. An extra time in the end. Kevin and Esports get make it happen. No. <laughs> I love Kev, but I wouldn't want to live with him. <laughs> oh, no worries, Strips. Hopefully that video was helpful. Uh, who is the top scorer of the low knees at the moment? Halfway through the season, Asano still banked 15. Abradovic does such a good job from attacking midfield. Look at the state of him. <laughs> oh, some of the lone players that we've got out on loan are actually an absolute filth merchant sometimes. Rigel especially. <laughs> I love that we're paying for this guy to play for Dundalk. It just makes me happy that that's the thing we get to do. I did give him a new deal, right? Uh, oh, no, actually. He's going to... Well, he'll get one soon. It would be very, very weird. FM Esports would just be bizarre. Oh, by the way. um, Yeah, our young guy from our youth intake last year, Alex Alexander Smirnov, the vodka, sir. Um, Yeah, got a cap for Estonia already. We said that he might do. Yeah, if the game didn't have such an established meta when it comes to PvP, I mean, I really noticed how that is when doing the play-by-play um, -play for the, the playoffs last weekend. It's, and I imagine it's the case back when we were doing showdowns and stuff and I was in those. It's, yeah. It, I think that the problem with PvP is it really does show the flaws in the match engine design. It, with PvE, it's a lot easier to paper over a little bit because you're, yeah, but once you go PvP, you could really see where the flaws are. And every year, there's always going to... It's never going to be perfect, of course. But I just don't think it's in any kind of state where you could do real much esports, if you like. Spooning within a week! <laughs> I bold of you to assume it would take a week, Bev. Come on now. Uh, Celtic desperately trying to dig themselves out of a hole here. Uh, No. I don't think I will. Is our window open yet? I wonder if we're allowed to start loaning people again yet. I don't know when that starts. Let me just get the the loan farm view up so we can see. Phase work the space. <laughs> oh, hello. Oh, no. Okay. 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 So it appears not. They're only wanted by sides outside of our league. Wow, this has got a lot smaller. Wait, is it because I haven't got that on? Yeah, it is. <laughs> no bards, maybe? <gasps> oh, Livingston. What about you? Nope. Wow. What's most wanted? Just not for any of these guys. I miss evolving Mick too. What a guy. Tsunami of corner highlights. Yeah. Well, that's why. But it was always difficult because it's like, what do you do about it from a sort of administrative standpoint? Phase Eland. It works. It works. Sweet left phase. Mine is just what? I don't know. Phase yellow card. It doesn't work, does it? Oh, this is one of our rescheduled games, or rather, not rescheduled games. But it's fine, because it's a chance for Andre Trotter to show his works. Uh, is Mamani available? No. Okay. Might have to be Boggy then. Dangerous. TSM second yellow card. Uh, I'll be Carmine Corp. Or what is it? Carmine Corp? Carmine Corp? I can never remember what they're called. I'm just thinking of Rocket League esports here, because it's the only esports I have any vague knowledge of. Also, I need to put Swanetsky back in goal. Why is his rating so bad? He was great in the final. Second phase of play. <laughs> yeah, Paul. Paul just... Uh, Paul was a good dude. Uh, get scout report. Didn't really know... Get, hang on. Did Jenk Aldo stop making content? I've met Jenk. I think. Yeah. I think I've met Jenk. I think he was at a capture event. 
certain I have. Maybe I'm thinking of the wrong person. No, I think I have met Jenk. <laughs> I'd have to ask someone else who was there. Moist left foot. Oh, I mean, it's Mike. They're all of them. No, in eight months. Wow. That surprises me. Maybe COVID stuff. Maybe it was just other things got in the way, you know? I thought Jake was always going places. And Paul was massive. Paul was one of the guys that was doing it when I started. So was Mick. I mean, Mick's part of the reason that I got to where I am. He was one of the first people to give me a shout out on YouTube. Him and um, uh, just another guy HD back in the day. Back with like there was Jub and Get Scout Report and people like that. It's moist left foot on Thursday. Uh, actually, Bay, it was my right foot. Thank you very much. But close, but no cigar. I had to wear those shoes later because Pog's train was cancelled and I had to go pick her up. Luckily, it was so hot in here that the water had all evaporated. And in Mark Noble, I think a lot of them would not have stopped, uh, wouldn't have done content in such a long time. Oh, Golden FM did content up until a couple of years ago, right? He was more recent. Like, Jub, I don't know when the last time he put a video. Get Scout Report came back for a bit because he was in chat uh, a few times over the last couple of years, if I recall. When the new game is released, yeah. Yeah, crew's cool. I like it. It's just different, isn't it? You know? I think it's just about finding what works for you. I, I think that I've kind of settled into something I like in terms of Let's Plays with uh, the way that I structure Nomads now. It works for me, and I feel like people enjoy it more that way. I think it's the best way that I've ever structured videos for that. But obviously, it's just important that I do other stuff outside of that because you can't grow with content like that. I have to make videos like the scouting video because that's where the growth comes from. But what I would say is since I made that video, a lot of those people clearly have started watching Nordic Nomads too because the views are way up. Stat up, yep. Stat up, yeah, stat up was a little bit different. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I know Paul does. I have him on um, Steam, so I see him play in FM. Oh dear. He's, Paul's just a lovely dude. He's just such a nice guy. Oh, stat that was a blast in the past. I remember all that drama. It was around about Christmas, sort of Christmas and New Year type of time, I think, when that was all going on. Oh dear. I'm glad that the FM community, if you like, is less drama-filled. It feels less drama-filled than it was, right? pre map mate. Yeah, that was pre. Yeah, that was pre. That was during the first... That was during Matt Mark 1. I like new Matt. He's better. <laughs> so into it. <laughs> yeah, the players grew quite a lot, didn't they, Marco? <laughs> FM has had drama. Yeah, FM's had loads of little bits of drama over the years. Um, Like... Obviously, there was a stat up thing. Does anyone remember um, the FM Council? <laughs> that was a weird segment in FM life. Uh, not yet, Ragnar, no. Uh, FM, uh, Frozen Fortunes was the first thing post hiatus. First thing I ever did. It's usually people being silly gooses. Has Kev taken over your account, Jigs? <laughs> oh, yeah, FM is still very chill in the main thing. Like, in the grand scheme of things, FM is still very chill compared to others. That's why Twitch chat in FM streams is usually so chill and nice. No matter whose stream you go in, I've never seen... I've never gone into an FM stream and felt like, oh god, this is a bunch of toxic people. It just isn't... Maybe I just watched the wrong streams, but or the right ones, maybe. But yeah, for me, I've never noticed it. Other than in here, obviously, where you're all a bunch of wanks. Um, but... That's why I see chat now. He's okay, yeah, at best. Oh, dear. What was the FM Council? It was this weird... What, what? I don't even... It was this Twitter account that... I don't even know what it was supposed to do. I've honestly forgotten. Uh, <clears throat> Toby. HDDH, 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 HDDH. There's bees in there. Fuck, I've been done. I tried it, Toby. I tried and I failed. I hope you can forgive me. But thank you very much for the follow. Oh, only put it... Yeah, I suppose there is that. We're so relaxed. Oh, boy, he's such a relaxed. I think as he talks like that when you meet him in person, too. First thing I did to him, I think I maybe put him off. Like, when I first met Paul, the first thing I did was I just went out to him and just hugged him. And I realized that actually maybe that was overly familiar of me. Uh, right. That's... Oh, Khan. Yeah, we'll get Khan in. Yeah. He needs games. We're building Pompey. is such a, a long time ago. Weirdly, that scouting video now. Third highest viewed video on the channel ever. Uh, the only things that are viewed higher... Th oh, straight away was the so FM Council was what I can't even remember it was a Twitter account that was it like it's supposed to expose people I don't know what it was exposing them for like but it was something like that or was it something different I have no idea honestly I'm sure we've got a law master that remembers but I don't know I don't spend much time on Twitter back then I would a little bit more but yeah 
Yeah, it does still get recommended sometimes because the, the start and the finish episodes have so many views. One's got like 90,000, one's got like 95,000, so it just ends up there. Straight red card. What a dick. It was FM... No, no, it was... Uh, I think it was sooner than... It was, uh, it was... Not sooner. It was earlier than that, I think. It was like FM 18, FM 19, I think. Maybe. I can't remember. There's always a little bit of stuff like that, but... Charge to make people better at game. Maybe? It was something like that, Avon, perhaps. I honestly can't remember. It could have been both. I hate Shirt Ricard. Yeah, dick. Pulls like shit in his shoes and stuff like that. He's always late. Always uploads like a day after the streams. Like, what, who does that? Like, get with the program, brother. I'm really glad I made the second channel, though, just for stuff like that. Really? Ah, there you go, Jinx. That makes a lot of sense now, thinking about it. Optimize people's content creation skills. Oh, right. Yes, you're right, because it was people... I wonder whoever that was. A bunch of people that have no idea what they're doing, telling other people how to do it. That is correct. It's like taking advice on streaming from me. Like, why would you do that? That guy's copying... A guy actually did that once. I found... YouTube once randomly alerted me to the fact that someone was uploading my videos. But they all had like Arabic titles. It was really odd. It's the only time I've ever taken a video down. It's really strange. Your saves make YouTube star. Jesus Christ. But like, who were they? To me, if you're sat there, like with any of these things, if you are saying that I can make you X, then you better be X already, right? It's like, if you're coming from me for advice, the best advice you're going to get from me would be advice that would, at the very maximum, get you to the same level I am currently at. Because obviously, be weird otherwise, right? Power five. I feel like I'm the odd one out in that company, Beth. <laughs> Don't link to the second channel from your channel. Uh, how do you mean? How do I not link to it? Uh, it's in the description, I think, of every video. Or well, it should be, anyway. <laughs> I hope it fucking is. Uh, right, so we'll ask him to sack his agent, because, of course, it's that, it's that time of the year again. And they always seem to hire. Does he just represent all of our players? Probably should have just done this the other way, but no, no, we're scrolling now. It feels like everyone's represented by him in the favored channels tab. I really should do that, but I've not updated that in about five years, as you can tell from the channels in it. Uh, some of them are literally not active anymore, <laughs> which should tell you all you need to know about how much I, how much attention I pay. See why he does it. Oh, but it's the same reason. I assume it's the same kind of logic I use. Um, I actively pronounce names wrong on purpose if someone's being a walloper about it. If someone comes in and is, is being a wemp then I will actively pronounce the names wrong. But only as a sort of, like, petty revenge. <laughs> I do try to make an active effort for the most part. Loki did a video about it. Oh, sick. Okay, there you go. Yeah, so if you're interested, check that out. Do you know if there's a train coming anytime soon? Jonas Marshall, oh, yeah, thank you for the follow. They are building it Red Star now. save, yes. Red Star was still one of my favorite saves ever. Like, it was such a fun save. Red Star is the reason we do Building a Nation, honestly. Some of the things that we did in that save and the youth conveyor belt and just a couple of little things we were doing is what laid the groundwork for eventually Polonia and Midgeland and now this, you know? No, Suwu or Su <laughs> I think a fine jinx is actually pronounced Uwu. So. What do you pronounce? To be fair, no. Uh, sorry, Ma. I knew that with Finnish names, I was never going to be able to get them even close to correct. So I just try to pronounce them as an English person would rather than attempting anything weird. Otherwise, I'm just going to put myself down a hole at that point, right? It's, it's so tough. Uh, we did, uh, Ellis. We did win the Champions League. Which was like, oh, 72 million. But it's not because his value's gone up. Ooh, there you go. Hello, James. You got your sling off. Nice. Did you sling it? I hope you did. How's you, how you feeling? How's Kathy? Oh. It's a cocktail moment. Someone came in. Expect fancy wine. I just put Rioja. <laughs> you want a, you want a bit of peanut? You what you need is a peanut gringot. Let me tell you, quality wine, great bank. Put the training schedule in. Uh, it would be in schedules. So if it doesn't exist, there's a folder called schedules. I think. So. Sports Interactive. No, my document, Sports Interactive, F22 Schedules, I think. Polish Goat. Uh, there was Blaise Lisic and there was Carol as well. Carol was pretty sick. We didn't, it wasn't actually, his surname was impronounceable. I could probably pronounce it now, actually, but I couldn't back then. 
Gonna get a fucking shat nerf deflapes. Of course. A bottle of our finest. Or something. Oh god! Thank you for the 10 months. How are, how the devil are you on this fine Saturday afternoon? Oh god, it's international break. Oh, because it's is there a major tournament going on? Is it World Cup? It is World Cup. Oh, 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 oh. Let me do a screen flow. I open uh, my where own is screen flow? Is it in preferences? I've forgotten. Mickey! So much, thank you so much for the follow. Last three weeks. Oh, thank you, Jonas. That's so kind. As in, like, the Nordic Nomad stuff. 69 vintage, of course. What flavor? That would be signature orange. I don't know whose signature, but uh, well, build a continent. Uh, what are you building it for? Like, what is the... What metric are you using to measure how built the continent is, I suppose? Uh, is it screen flow on here? It is. Right, cool. Oh, we've already got one. Never mind, chat. Turns out past Matt is an absolute baller and knows what he's doing. That's not true. How much did we lose by Rob? Uh, do you know what, Rob? I'm still a little bit annoyed about it, but just because of that, I'm going to show you what happened in the game just to catch you up here. Um, so, right, where are we? Uh, where was that final? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> Make a content more popular than Europe. Uh, define popular. What metric would you use to measure popularity in FM, that is? Sounds like a lie. Indeed. Indeed. Everything. Wow. Okay. That, hang on. Everything. I have like 2,000 videos, Jonas. Are you all right? <laughs> show the goal again. All right, fine. We'll show it again. Do I need like a button that just shows the goal? <laughs> I found them a little bit, but we were good. We were good. We had a good game. We, we tactically did it. I mean, look at this. Malaya. Bang. 1-0. Champions League win. Enjoy. Lovely stuff. Napping to life is good. Sick. We've gone and we only went and done it. And with that, we got ourselves a cheeky little uh, worldwide reputation. Cheeky little five-star potential. Cheeky little... St oh, wait. Okay, and now we're suddenly not failing FFP. Cheers, FM. Thanks. Thanks, buddy. It's because this projection changes. It's this one here that it's using. It has to be. Obviously, we're not going to finish the season with... As long as we... Yeah, we're fine. As long as we're not going to finish the season with that amount of money, which we're obviously not, you know? Out of the house. What else just to do by FM watching? I True, true, Jonas. When M's not in the house, I play FM and watch me as well. I have a big mirror up there, and it's like on the ceiling, so I'm just like, oh, don't you look sick? Now make a transfer. Go on, do it. <laughs> Probably the best players preferred to play in Asia and EU. But again, there's no way of measuring that, so that's why I would never do a save like that, because there's absolutely zero way of measuring that. Like, players will never, ever prefer to play for you. There's just no way that would work. 1-0 Spurs. Oh, wow. Really? They woke up. Imagine. Balls to rate him as a B. Oh, of course. Yeah. Wait, are they seriously rating him as a B? <laughs> they don't like the... F you know. Sorry. Please, have you... Have they thought about maybe... <laughs> I love that. Very pleased with our level of support. Very pleased with the 6-1 victory. Very pleased with that. Are they not at all pleased with the Champions League title? Did they like the fact that we won that at all? I thought that was just past. Just, just past. It's kind of nutty, actually, that that was even an expectation. <laughs> uh, home run players. That should be fine. Looks like Wolves used up all their energy in the first half, then. No, because the thing is, Bev, they have money now because of the Champions League and stuff. They have money. The issue is not getting the money. The issue is getting them to spend that money, which is why the loan farm exists. Because 19 months. Do you have a contract extension clause? No, we'll get to that. Um, in fact, fuck, I'll do it now. He needs a new contract anyway. 15k a week. Uh, you can't be an important player because... Uh, no, he can't do that either. I love that he was trying to get me to play him in a role that we literally don't... Yeah! Part of the reason I want to get this contract now, by the way, is because if we do get a player value bump, their contract demands might actually go up even more. Third time's the charm, keep Exactly. Yeah, I mean, the board will never be happy because well, the reason they'll never be happy is... Oh, hang on. So this is... Hang on. So why does it tell us this here then? Or is this just a reminder? 
We'll just be back in the red again. Oh no. Just just narrowly. Because we're surely going to get a player value bump. We have to. Wait, Livingston signed Bernardo Silva off of... Five grand a week. Jesus Christ. They're putting some massive money down. I still don't think we're quite ready to... We're not back into the uh, loan window again yet, I don't think. Because there's definitely some guys in here that I think are worthy of loans. Rather watch a fish drown. <laughs> I've not heard that expression before. I love that. Alpine Adventure. Top league in France, Italy, Switzerland, and Austria. Then Champions League with one club must be in the Alps. Oh, that's kind of sick. So what teams are actually limited? What teams are you um, limited to then? Based on that. Particularly in those nations. That's a cool idea. Uh, right. I guess more attention. I probably should be playing friendlies in here, really, shouldn't I? Like, since we've got, like, no games for the next two weeks. Testimonial. Damn it. We might get some more testies soon. There's every chance that testies could arise again. Uh, but luckily, Shannon's here to oil up and take one for the team. Where are you? <gasps> Shannon! Where are you gone, love? Okay, well, Shannon's not here to oil up. Apparently so. Oh. Yeah, he's a bit good. Tuzla City. Wait, Tuzla City? That's Bosnia, isn't it? Nah, wrong one, Bev. Zealand could never use oil. I think it would get caught in the chest here. It would just be a whole bad time for him. Very bad time. Unhappy promise not kept. I never said I'd loan you to Motherwell, buddy. Okay, Swanetsky's improving, which is good, because he's probably going to be our first choice soon. Uh... Navarro's... He's getting there. Like, he's definitely getting there. If he just could tackle... Actually, he is getting his marking and positioning up. I've got him on defensive positioning training. He doesn't like it, but it's happening. Oh, I see. That's quite a lot of teams, actually. Sketch, thank you for the follow. Working in your favour. My key player doesn't want to join PSG at this stage in his career. Wow. Imagine us getting an opportunity to have that happen. I do. The next transfer windows are going to be very interesting in this save because we're now about as high rep as a team can be, comparatively speaking. Five-star rep, five-star richness, all that jazz. The league's rep is probably going to up this summer too and it better fucking go up now that we've had two back-to-back -back seasons of third and won the Champions League and had success with other Irish sides. If we're still getting players turning us down for no reason or wanting absurd things for seemingly no reason again, then why didn't it... Um, It feels like... Wasn't it supposed to be every evening on a match day? I feel like it's not been showing us, but needless to say, Slovakia have already qualified out of that group. Jamaica getting twatted. Any surprises in here? Other than this guy here, Mackenzie Jackson, is the top scorer in the whole World Cup so far for South Africa, which is pretty impressive. Canada getting knocked out. <laughs> yeah, Michael Jackson, top scorer. A he he. God, there's so many bloody groups. There's there's the group of death, quite literally, with Russia, China, and the USA. Six feet of the UCL still have players considering Liverpool too good an opportunity to turn down. Yeah, that's just kind of mental, isn't it? South Africa. Oh, they have won two out of two, actually. Wow, that's a good group. Look at that. South Africa have just won a group with Bosnia and Colombia in it. Not bad. Bloody Nobby. How's he getting on at United? Yeah, good, of course. I mean, he's been so he was solid for us, but it's a shame that we couldn't have had the value bump this summer, or last summer, and then hopefully get the save. I, I still don't understand why. Because our value bump was mesmerizingly large. If you recall, he actually was worth over 100 million quid when that value bump happened, and now he's worth half that. And that was when we just got to a final. So hopefully winning a final, eventually at some point over the summer, should allow us to get players to be worth like over 100 million each again which is going to be great for shifting dead wood because all of a sudden people like aluminium alley are going to be valued at like 20 million quid for no reason and we'll get to shift those guys on for huge money thank you for the follow right uh no that might be the first time ever in this save or any save that i've actually seen an ai club put a buyback clause in an out in a contract they are putting in for my player 
<coughs> That's I've genuinely never seen an AI club do that before. So fair play. Not happening, but it's nice to see that it actually happens. It's like that time that Barca tried to put a zero pound buyback clause in that contract we were buying off a player from them. Oh. Still not happening, but I admire their intensity. Uh Boggy can go. Right. Of course there's a fucking super cup. Isn't there? A rep bump thing. Is it really? For Alan too. No, there was no buyback clause with Alan. I just bought him back. <laughs> at one point, Alan was worth 10 million pounds at Rangers and they let, him, let us have him back for 300k. <laughs> the three team groups, I really don't like that. Um, Just, I don't know. It feels like there's more games, but less games for your team. Although there actually is... Oh, wow. How is... A, 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 B a below average youth intake. How, how does that work? Are we actually going to get a good youth intake? If a player is A rated, to me, that means they have to have like three or four star potential. Also, wide midfielders, Emmett. Really? And a DM. So great. Database lookups. Uh, were there database lookups? We shouldn't have been. Uh, there was a Harold and a Harold, which we did. But there was no database lookups as far as I know. Particularly as we were about to finish anyway, because I said we get off at two today because of the uh, Champions League things. They'd just be the same dude, in it? Yeah. Below average because of the quality. It might be, Rob, honestly. It might be. Turn them off. Yeah, I turned them off because we didn't want them happening during the uh, Champions League final because we couldn't do that much with them anyway. Just forgot to turn them back on. But we were going to finish at two today just because of the Champions League final happening. And there wasn't much more we could do at this point because it's just a uh, summer window. Or summer, not even summer window. Summer period until Champions League comes back again, which will be sort of here which is my off camera period there which i'll have to do tomorrow at some point let me just quickly save it here just in case it's immense awesome strongo always send me players all wingbacks hopefully maybe that's the dream right and it's like a <laughs> he's just there like are you doctor yet one of these days we'll find out right apologies for the slightly earlier stop today my friends but of course uh with the situation we're in it felt like it's kind of where we're at really um so Plus means we get a little cheeky Saturday. So who am I going to raid today? Annoying with the new Twitch tags thing. Um, unless people will actually manually put English as their tag now, it doesn't feel it's not there automatically anymore. So I have to sort of uh, be careful here. Uh, I think a lot of people need to pay attention to that actually when they're setting up their tags because I'm noticing a lot of people on this page aren't doing that. Um, I think it's quite important. Final score was one nil to us, Kitcher. We we did win the Champions League though, so that's the main factor in that one. Uh, we're going to raid. We're going to raid Sean. I don't know. I quite like them, but I feel like they should have kept the other tags as well. I like being able to have the tag world's okay as streamer. It's just a nice thing to have. Oh my goodness me. So, thank you so much for joining me today, my friends. Uh, that We finally bloody did it. 26 seasons and we finally won a Champions League. What a time to be alive, isn't it? And I'll see you guys on Tuesday as we resume. Season, well, tw technically still season 26. Start back in the Champions League again. Seven teams in Europe for the first time. It's going to be a bloody good time. So thank you for joining me. We're going to send you guys over to Sean for a little while. Um, thank you so much for the bits and the subs as well. That's very, very kind of you. And I'll see you guys on Tuesday. I uh, hope you have a great rest of your weekend. Hope your team wins, unless that team's Brentford or teams I don't like. I'll see you soon. Hold your gun. Capybara. Uh, bye bye.